Why is the music so moody in this? It's just Minecraft, man. Come on. <laughs> this mod pack's so edgy. Look at the purple. But, uh, yeah, hello. Last stream I did was three, three weeks ago? Yeah, three weeks ago. And I was supposed to do another one last week, but I was really tired on Saturday. Because last week I was making videos for this week and I've uploaded three videos this week, so I was pretty shattered by the end of the week. But I thought, well, I don't want to just want to kind of turn up to stream again and just chat with a website open and not really much going on. Really thought I should probably do something active, but I didn't want to do anything that was too intense. I thought, well, Minecraft's pretty good for, like, talking. You know, you could just stop and talk, or you can go and do stuff. But there's something going on in any case. And I've already talked about how I don't really feel like ever doing Minecraft videos, because I'm not a Minecraft YouTuber. I feel like with Minecraft, you do it or you don't. I don't I mean, that's not completely true, because I've seen some YouTubers who do it as part of their thing, but it's not their whole thing. But it's just the kind of thing where I don't want to do videos on it when I've got my other stuff. Uh, it's also just, it's a little too low-key, really. There's not enough actively happening for a video, for editing. But I always thought it was pretty decent for a stream. So we're going to try it. Uh, you know, if I don't really feel like it's what I want to do, then maybe I'll just play it on my own. And do something else on stream, whenever I do stream. But, for now, we'll have a look at this. Yeah, this is uh, Prominence 2, or Prominence something something void something. Uh, it's a very RPG-ish mod pack, very kind of fantasy blah blah stuff. I think there's some tech stuff as well, though I've never been that into tech stuff in Minecraft mods, but I don't know. I just, I liked uh, some of the stuff that was in this, I liked some of the mods, like it had some of the boxes checked of things I like to see in a mod pack. Uh, there is some stuff as well that I'm not so sure about, but I guess we'll see. But uh, yeah, like a lot of mod packs seem to not come with certain things and then if you add them in it breaks the whole thing. So that's why I did this one. Uh, what should I call this? It's very weird now to not have any sound. Uh, congrats for 3k subscribers. Yes, thank you. We got that today. Yeah, they're definitely trying to make it very, like... <laughs> I mean, look at, look at this. Actually, I did test out the end on the creative world, and it does look like this. If you have shaders, which I do. We'll see how it runs. And by the way, YouTube streaming is... The way they do encoding 
is that anyone can choose quality settings, unlike Twitch, where you have to be like partnered for people to do that. But that means YouTube's encoding makes everything a little more blurry, a little more pixelated, unless you really crank the bitrate up. I put it to 10,000 bitrate. Uh, hopefully that will be good enough. It might go a little pixelated when I'm moving around a lot, but that's just how YouTube streams are. Unless you start streaming in like 1440p, you know, 2K, I'm not going to do that. It's, just, it's ridiculous, so. Uh, world, blah, 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 better world, better X. Um, I always struggle with the name because I want to name it something. I just, I don't just want to call it, ah, survival. But, going to do a 3K special. No, I don't really bother with stuff like that, to be honest, because the video is already all planned out for the, the next few, so. I don't want to deviate from it. Kind of wanted to call it something to do with the Cooking Simulator Part 3 video, but I don't want to spoil it. Or I could... Uh, I don't know. We'll just call it... Um, after my plush. Frederick, after my little plush. Uh, okay. No cheats. I might need that on in case something breaks, actually. I need to fix it. Survival, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why am I squatting? What, what am I doing here? Help, I'm stuck in this dirt void. Well, have a look. We'll see how it goes, right? I mean, the alternative is, like, some other really slow-paced casual game... That's not Minecraft that I'm not going to make videos on. I just didn't want to be sat here with like nothing again, right? It was, it was fine for that first stream because it's the first one. We were looking at the Papa's Wiki and all that stuff, but I can't be doing that all the time. Oh my god, of course it spawned a giant structure over there. Let's let the, uh, let's let the game render everything. Oh, you look so sad. Look up. Look up, my boy. It'd be great if I had a Voxen skin, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I really don't try. I don't feel like trying to make a Minecraft skin with long hair. That sounds like torture. Sounds like pain. Maybe someone can make that at some point. Oh my god. Is that really necessary? Look at the clouds, by the way. They're like weird translucent marshmallows. I mean, at least they're pretty Minecraft styled. I've been used to mod pack clouds being like just wispy, realistic looking stuff, but I mean, this is Minecraft, come on. <laughs> Someone's being realistic. Although the water is. Yeah, it's still tidy. Whoa, that's a zoom I didn't expect. Hello? This is like an oblivion. Talking to a character in Oblivion Zoom. Stop right there! The crow is very loud. Can you maybe shush a little? Maybe ambient environment? Yeah. Okay. So this is one of those packs that's extremely, like... There's a lot. I mean, have a look at this. Look at this. What the fuck is this? You know, uh, talents, uh, spec tree thingy, Diablo, Path of Exile styled. I don't even, where do you start on this? I don't even know. There's a lot of health things. Maximum health, that's good. I don't know what's going on here. I'm pretty sure it makes it really fuzzy when I do this as well. The uh, YouTube doesn't like this. <laughs> stop, stop, I can't handle it. I guess I better punch some wood. But hello, people, yes, hello. Yeah, that, that was very... Uh, Undertale. That was very intimidating to see all those uh, perk things. But maybe it's simpler than I think. 
I don't know. Actually, I can show you... <gasps> Coconuts? Oh, it's lagging a bit, because... Yeah. Whenever an achievement pops up like that, or a quest, it seems to... It does lag it a little bit. Uh, I can always turn the shaders off, you know? If I really need to. But it really hurts. It, it hurts doing that when you've been seeing it like this. Uh... It's one thing if you've never seen it, but if you go from it and then downgrade, it feels awful. I just picked up some coconuts. And uh, I've got a pina colada here in real life. But I need some pineapple in game. I was maybe going to have the coconut rum, but then I got these little cans of different mixed rums, so... Real, not fake. Undertale in Minecraft. Not clickbait. Emotional. Gone sexual. <laughs> uh, that's referencing uh, a YouTuber that nobody likes anymore. Well, not the original people, but the guy who parodied it. I should probably just make an axe or something. Or make a... Yeah, let's make a pickaxe here. Uh, where's my gubbins? Where's my, like, uh, uh, you know, you click the thing and it's all there, all the recipes are there. <sighs> what? I mean, I guess you can see it from here, but it doesn't make it. Also, what version of Minecraft is this? Does it say here? It's 1.20, really? I thought this mod pack would be 19, 1.19, because it's got a lot in it. It's kind of surprising. What stupid song, Coconuts? I can think of one. Yes, anyway, uh... Let's get, uh, stone. Stony stone, 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 stone. Oh, you shouldn't be digging straight down. I definitely think this is one of those mod packs where it's like, there's a lot of shit in it, and it makes it a bit ridiculous. Uh, but maybe you just gotta go for it. Maybe you just gotta accept that it's gonna be ridiculous, you know? The thing is, I always get really bored with Minecraft, like, quickly get into it for a little bit and then I get bored of it suddenly and I stop playing. So I need a lot in it to potentially keep me interested, I think. If it's just like vanilla plus, I mean, that'd be cool. But I feel like I'm going to get bored quicker. Also, because I don't know how to build things for shit. There might be some stuff that helps with building in this mod pack, though. Hmm, not sure. It's probably better you don't know the coconut song. I was thinking of Donkey Kong, but that's not a coconut song. It's just it says coconut shells in it. I'm guessing it's not that. Oh, my bloody keypad, sticky fucking pad, wrist thingy pad pad keeps sliding off. God damn, I'm going to have to stick it on. I meant to do this before the stream, but... By the way, I'll probably do two videos next week. Um, Sims 3 Part 4 is the first one. That's already uploaded, i just got to do the captions. Sims 3 Part 4 features the introduction of the Blau Blau, so... I mean, the working title is 
zipping my blah blah in the sims 3 but i don't know if we'll call it that because it's probably terrible for the algorithm anyone who doesn't know what that means comes across that and they're like what well maybe it'll, maybe it'll entice people because it's so weird but i don't know So blah blah comes in and starts <laughs> being a little weirdo to everyone they meet, which is about what you'd expect from the blah blah. I know I'm, I really do want to keep it because it's just like that's the title. Sometimes with YouTube, it's like. <sighs> yes, you could go with the most like algorithm friendly. Whatever title works best. But sometimes you just want to call the video what it's called. And in my heart, that's what that video is called. You know? What would happen if Vibes and No Name met? Well, they're very kind of opposite energies, aren't they? Vibes is like sunshine. And No Name is rain. But, you know, put those two together, you get a rainbow. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That's overly sentimental. Uh, I got so many coconuts. What? So blah blah mentioned. Flappy hands activated. Yeah, I have actually planned out all of the characters for the rest of the Papa's games that I can make new ones for. Um, we just had Rockool, obviously. Rockool the Sorcerer. But he wasn't meant to be in Mokaria. It was meant to be another character I've made called Lance Mooney. But Lance Mooney uh, has a certain hairstyle that I made in Papalui Pals. And Mokaria didn't have that hairstyle. So I had to put him in Clockaria instead. And then Rakul was meant to be in Paletaria, but I moved him up to Mokaria. And it was meant to be a female character in Clockaria, so everything's shifted around, but... Hopefully we'll be able to see the- oh boy. Realistic Minecraft tree chopping, yeah. Actually, I think this is the best tree chop mod that I've seen. Because this one feels like this is how you cut a tree, right? You put, 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 put on the bottom and then it all comes off, all falls over. It's not like you just destroy one block and then it instantly pops out. There's so many coconuts coming off these trees, though. Alright, one thing about this uh, mod pack or the settings I've chosen... Caves are very dark. The night time is also very dark because I like darkness. I like it when things are actually dark and spooky. But that's very dark. <laughs> I think I know how to get some easy coal though if what I need is nearby. Actually, there might be some here, because we've got all these ores on the surface. Uh, yes. Yes. But yeah, I've got the other characters planned out. Lance Mooney. Hopefully Cluckeray, but Cluckeray is a bit awkward, because I'm supposed to have recorded it already, but the emulator does not like that game. It's making really weird noises for some of the sound effects. Like, you know the when you get something, when you do it well in Papa's, and it goes, da 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 da! That sound effect is fucked on a clucker ear on emulator. It's like, da da da! -da. It's <laughs> really bad. And then, um, you know, the start of the day when it's like, dun 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 ba 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 ba! The little bit at the end, it sounds like it's like distorted or underwater. Holy shit, it just got so dark so quickly. Uh, sh oh, I'm gonna die. Light. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. This certainly is not a good thing, but, I mean, there's light over here. <laughs> I'm s afraid because they're so active. I need active people. Save me, mushrooms. Save me from this darkness. Oh my... Oh, this is really bad. 
Ah! Why is there a floating number? Hang on. Don't worry. Right. Uh... If you don't get a torch quickly, you're in a bit of trouble on this, that's for sure. Man, Tony really popped off with all the music. Yeah. Oh! Hello, sir! <laughs> How do you do? Uh, you Are you afraid of the dark too? You've come for the lights? Oh, you got a friend! How sweet. Oh, what they, what they do? Probably shouldn't look at that. Impeding on their privacy a bit there. What if I just build a bit higher up, huh? Oh, I can see some stuff. Alright, uh, well, this is good. We'll just sit here for a bit. Do you have a favourite and least favourite Papa Louis character? <sighs> I really don't like Fudini. There's something off about him. I'm not a fan of him. <sighs> oh, there's a fly. Get out! Uh... What are they doing, man? Let's just watch these two. And here we see two revenants mingling together. Their ribs are out. Yeah, put, put them away, guys, please. Put them away, sluts. Uh, uh, favorite character? I mean, uh, you know, the meme, I always liked Kingsley. Kingsley's one of my favorites. I hate James with all my heart. James is odd. James has got that weird face. Where his face is so small compared to the rest of his head. I kind of like blah blah, but blah blah pulls it off, you know. Oh, well, this is just doom and gloom here right now, isn't it? It's quite pretty. Obviously, Peggy... Oh, by the way, if you remember Long Long Peggy, I thought I was going to retire Long Long Peggy because she didn't have much going for her. She's just a dark version of Peggy. But I think it might bring her back, actually. Changed again. Evolved again. Not Long Long, not Short Short, but something else. Why do people hate Cooper, man? He's such a basic white guy. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> uh, imagine. Yeah. This place is going to be extremely dangerous. There's a lot of mobs in there. If I had to guess, Ross a lot. Oh, really? We all have our favourites and our least favourites, I suppose. But Fudini is my real nemesis. Making me play his twisted games. Um, I was also going to say, yeah, Peggy's coming back. Well, she's not even Peggy anymore. She's going to have a different name. Um, but it'd be that kind of look. Tofu clouds? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Then we got, I'm not going to say any of the names because I don't want to spoil it, but I've got one, two, three, three female and three male characters planned out as well. Grammy isn't that bad. Grammy just creeps me out a little bit. Hey! Oh, you... F Dude, we were trying to have a conversation, spider. Okay, oh boy. Um. Oh, that's stone. That's no good. 
How do you used to be able to, I don't know if you can do it in this mod pack. Oh, maybe not. Yay, we're safe. Okay. <laughs> hey, do you like darkness? <laughs> uh, well, while it's dark, let's have a look at some quests. Quests. Yeah. First steps questing. Find a fruit. I saw that eggplant. Find a fruit or vegetable. Have I done that? Apparently I have. Oh, coconuts, yeah. Chapters, uh-huh. Craft a chest. Yeah, that's claiming chunks in multiplayer. I'm not playing multiplayer, obviously. Reforging, because this is some World of Warcraft bullshit. Uh, talent tree, which I've seen. Looks ridiculous. Refund thing. Make a chest. Backpack. Upgrade the chest. Ooh, music disc. I need to find a waystone. I love the void. Prominence 2 is the name of the mod pack. Prominence is a mod pack for everyone. The quest book is a feature that provides players with a set of objectives to complete, which is designed to guide them through the mod pack. Uh huh, yeah, well, look at this. Some campaign. Okay. Explorer's Journal? Collectibles? Holy moly! Look at the discs, man. Look at the discs. There's a lot of things here. Archaeology, because it's actually 1.20. The prison. Ooh. The nether. Ooh. The end. Oh, getting to the end is going to be a ball ache in this, because it's got that mod where you have to get, like... It's called End Remastered. It doesn't remaster the end. It's nothing to do with... It's just how you get there. But it uh, makes it so you have to get specific eyes of Ender with like, oh, the eye of witches, where you have to get it from doing some witch and crafting it. Oh, this one you've got to get from a desert temple. This one you've got to get from a underwater gubbins place, whatever it's called. It's bad that I play mod packs because I haven't even played the base Minecraft very much at all. <laughs> I just, there's not enough in the base game to interest me. Oh my god, it's a realm full of bees. The other side, which is like... Yeah, this is um, the deep dark, but you go through a portal and then there's more deep dark. And it's very dark. Just, I mean, is this not dark enough? Is it daytime? Oh, hey, it's getting there. Hello, Coke hater. Tasting looks like someone took a dump in a glass of water and carbonated it. Earth. Moon, Mars, Venus, Mercury, Glacier. Ah, hang on a second. Earth, Moon, Mars, Venus. My very easy method just speeds up naming planets. Glanets. Combat. New combat mechanics. Uh, weapon has its own attack animation, consecutive combo, continue. You can hold down attack, you don't have to time it in this. You just hold it down. Oh my god, they fixed Minecraft. Give me a shield, thank you. Again, some World of Warcraft bullshit. Nah, man, I'm a Coke Zero. I'm a Coke Zero fanatic. I've got a whole bunch of them down in the corner of my room. It's because I'm. That's what I usually mix rum with, or, or just drink them. I don't know if it's my favorite. It's not my favorite drink. Well, rum and coke is my favorite drink, but. Uh, just fizzy on its own. Has anyone had watermelon Fanta? Watermelon Fanta. That's good. I hope they don't get rid of that. They're probably it's probably limited time, and I'll get rid of it. But. Do do. We got swords. We got Dark Souls bullshit. I've been playing Dark Souls one recently. Actually, I've almost finished it. Just got two DLC bosses to do. Spells. 
and incantations with those for 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 for, 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 for those with the talent to cast them. Skyrim, witch, transmog. Oh yeah, you can make your armor look like other stuff, which is kind of cool. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what? That's weird. Hey! It's bright. No, it's not nasty, it's nice. It's very refreshing and sort of light. Dr. Pepper. My brother is a uh, Dr. Pepper fanatic. Oh, there's some there. I've got to get my stuff back there. Dr. Pepper fans are always just... They're fans, you know. Although we did have uh, Professor Peppy before. You know, the... Uh... <laughs> An off-brand one called Professor Peppy, which was quite amusing. It definitely didn't taste quite as nice, but it was okay. Oh, I've already got one of those. Uh, we need axe. Oh, I've got two shields now. Oh, I started with a shield. It didn't ask me to pick my class, though, but I guess it just forced me to be the warrior class. Anyway, I can do a roll like Dark Souls. Dark Souls invented the role, of course. Nobody rolled in the history of the world until Dark Souls came out. Not even Demon Souls in 2009. No, no, no. Dark Souls. Uh, that's where we learned how to roll, children. Yeah, it's my second like full playthrough of Dark Souls 1. Um, I did try and do a New Game Plus playthrough of my first character. But I never finished it. I got a bit bored of it, but I decided to do a second playthrough with some uh, faith build kind of stuff mixed in there. It's pretty cool. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, Professor Peppy. I mean, it's a bit on the nose, isn't it? I should have called this this world Professor Peppy now. I mean, hindsight. I should just do a Papa's character who's called Professor Peppy. <laughs> Now I get sued by that off-brand Dr. Pepper. Nah, they wouldn't dare. I'll just say like, Oi, you want me to go talk to Dr. Pepper himself? Right, we got twigs which can turn into sticks. Very handy. We got torches as usual. Now what we... Oh, earthworms. Jims. Uh... Oh, you know what we did have the other day, though? Lemon Coke. Coke with, like, lemon added. Oh, it wasn't good. I was not a fan. It just felt like it was lemonade and Coke mixed together, and they were at odds. It was quite bitter, actually. I do like vanilla Coke, though, when the rare times that that appears. I'm a vanilla coke fan, but lemon coke? Nah, not even that again. Lemon Fanta is uh, nice though, it's like basically cloudy lemonade. We've got all kinds of Fanta flavours here, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but... Although Lilt, I don't know if anyone's heard of Lilt, but it's like Tropical, uh, but that's been rebranded to Fanta Tropical, or what was it called? Fanta something? It's Fanta something now, it's not Lilt anymore. I never had like cream soda or anything like that. Yeah, Fanta's good. I, hey, buddy. My, I can't see shit because my arms are in the way. But 
Uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, numbers flying off of enemies, you know, but I don't know what mod adds it because I search for damage indicators or like health or stuff. Nothing comes up. So it's obviously built into some other mod and I have no idea what it is. I actually saw a description of a different mod that adds those damage numbers and it said, makes combat more strategic and immersive. I'm like, what do you fucking mean immersive? There's numbers flying out of them. How is that immersive? If I punch someone in real life, a number doesn't fucking fly out of them, does it? Not that I've tested that, but yeah, maybe it does. Maybe that's my power. Oh, I took two damage when I fell. Well, I'm so glad to know that. Apple juice or orange juice? Mm. Generally apple juice, I would say. I like apple squash, you know, the one you mix with uh, water more than orange squash, but actually orange juice in a carton is pretty damn good. Has anyone ever dipped biscuits uh, and on cookies? You know, like you dip a cookie in milk, right? Have you ever dipped a cookie in orange juice? It's not so bad, actually. It's not something you, where you probably have a lot, but hey, you know, try it out next time you happen to have a cookie and, a, and an orange juice. Give it a try, I say. Live in a country too unknown for such a thing to happen as Watermelon and Fanta, yeah. Even where I live in the UK, we always get things after. We get things late because we're so on the tail end of the UK. So uh, if I go so if I go to somewhere further central in the country, like closer to London, see we see all the stuff that we don't have yet. <laughs> And that's in the UK. It's a tiny little place. It's a miniature country. Well, it's not. I mean, it's not the tiniest. There's definitely smaller ones like the Netherlands, but All right. I need to go. I need to find somewhere safe, right? Because this this ain't safe, and I need somewhere that's gonna have light. Some buildings there. Uh huh. Some kind of building. That looks like ruins. Ruins. That's a building. That... I don't know what this is. Is that another floating place? Looks like it, but... Have a look. Condensed milk. Yeah, this... Uh, condensed milk's pretty good. And evaporated milk. I mean, I wouldn't just chug it. We have, uh, you know, just plastic milk jugs is the main thing. Oh my god! It's straight out of Sonic Adventure! Imagine if real life had things like this. <laughs> I was thinking of doing a stream at some point, but it's probably more of a future idea. And the stream goal is to choose my top 100 games of all time except not ranked because that's impossible but just to choose them and there's probably I probably have played more than 100 when you take like flash games into account and I was like well I can't really do that right now it's a bit self-absorbed but at some point I'd like to do that Papa's Crackberry, uh, what should the next Papa's game be, guys? Go. The next new one, I mean, not like a deluxe. I mean, I would like more deluxes, but... Oh shit, the sun's getting real low. Hey, big guy, the sun's getting real low. Iron! 
Wow. One whole iron. Oh, look. Oh, diseased panda. Oh, shit. Darkness. Habitation. Friendly or foley? What's all this? Is this good? What is this? This looks villagey to, uh, to be honest, so hopefully it's good. Oh, uh, fish. What the fuck is that? Raw splash tail. Thinks it's so special. Guess what? Most fish splash with their tails, okay? It ain't special. Oh, it is a village. I heard a cat. I heard a cat. <gasps> cat. Cat. Can you do it with raw cod? I can't remember. Cat. Cat. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Don't run. Hey, chill. Chill. <laughs> You're cornered now. That's one. Hey, where the... F Did you just kill yourself? Would you really rather unalive than... Oh, yeah, it actually would. Well, that's rather disappointing. That cat was like, fuck this. <laughs> I'm going into the void, mate. <laughs> I'm not being owned by a British person. All right, then. <laughs> Be like that. What have we got here? What the hell is this? Oh, God. He's just throwing so many words at me. Axolotl rubber ring. Rubber ring, huh? Huh? All right. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. 17% swim speed. Beach party set. Swimwear helmet. Swimwear breastplate. Swimwear leggings. Swimwear boots. Do I look like a swimwear person to you, game? Hmm? No. Oh, look. We got proper third-person RPG-ish thing. I don't really want that, but it's there. Cowardly ass cat, I know. Based. God damn it, mangoes. Uh, Pampers beans on toaster rear. Of course, yep. Yeah. Pampers fish and chips. I feel like they could do a chip chippy rear, you know. They could do a British location, you know. They could do like a... I mean, I'd have to bring Jim Allen back. <laughs> I don't know what you would do for all the holiday toppings though but they seem to come up with some wild shit so I do kind of want to bake cakes though I want that to be it they've done baking pies but what about baking cakes Greg's sausage rolls Chocolate pizza? Ah, uh, what? I'll go to the UK. Oh, yeah, I don't know what that's in response to. Oh my god, what are, you, what are these takes? Don't like pizza? Don't like chocolate? <sighs> Am I the normie? Jim Allen? Jim Allen, Dave, Bob. This is quite a nice place to hang out here, at least. We've got somewhere safe. We've got these loot chests. Uh, which, yeah, it's just so they have like a proper sorting, I don't know, drop system, I guess, loot system from all the mods put together. So we have these special chests that indicate that. But you can get rid of them. 
by shifting and turn it into a normal chest. Which is good, because I don't really want these things scattered about everywhere. So I could set up my little camp here. I don't know, I don't think we've got a deposit all button, unless there's a key bind that does it, but... Better eat a little coconut. I feel like half a coconut, uh, I guess there's not much to it, but I feel like it would do more than that. Do do do, do do, shut, go to sleep bird, please. Right, should I be wearing this swim speed? This is pretty much the same, except this has got four armor, toughness, that's got health. Can I wear both of these? Guys, check out my rubber rings. Uh, oh, it goes on the baubles. Not that one, apparently. Which one does it go on? Hey, that ain't right. Oh, I thought it was like a ring. No, of course, that makes sense. It's a ring ring. It's a pool ring. For some reason I was thinking, like, it's a finger ring. Okay, uh, let me rephrase that. I was thinking it's, it's, a, it's a ring. But... And of course, you actually, you put it round yourself. That's a bit silly. Uh, but sure, it gives me armor, so... Half my classmates don't like chocolate? What is going on these days? Actually, to be fair, I, I've liked chocolate less as I've gotten older. But to answer that question, uh, dark dark chocolate is my favourite. Whenever I do get chocolate now that I actually buy and it's not just someone's giving me some, it's just like uh, ah, the best one, which they had all the time in my local shop, but they don't have it anymore, was a uh, mint dark chocolate bar, right? Ah, oh, that was nice. That was good. But for some reason, they don't have it anymore. But they do have... Uh, I mean, I get it from somewhere else. I just have to go further afield. But but they did have raspberry. Dark chocolate with raspberry flavouring. Raspberry bits in it. That was nice as well. Yeah, what was the durability on it? 96. I guess it makes sense for a rubber floaty. Oh my god. Hello, can I see? There we go. I have to put that on the shield. We don't need the shield right now. Ding! Ding, ding. Oh, I don't want to see that. Caves are disgusting. Uh, let's just do like... Hey, look, this is my little temporary... Uh... I'm hiding... Hide, hide didding here. I was saying on the Discord, but fucking hell. This cooking simulator part three video is... I lost so many brain cells playing it. Oh my god, it's so stupid. <laughs> I've never done so many stupid things in one video before. I can't believe how many times I just failed to my brain to work? I don't know. Oh, lovely. Why are so many dark chocolate likers in the world? <laughs> because we're the villains of the world. You know, Voxen loves dark chocolate the most. And Vibes is definitely a white chocolate kind of girl. Mostly US chocolate tastes like vomit. There was something about, I, I did find out. I found out why that's the case. Uh, but I forgot. I forgot. It wasn't important enough information to stay in my brain. Americans put all kinds of shit in their stuff. And all kinds of stuff in their shit. I'm hiding here. Oh, 
Hope that's not going to cause a forest fire. I bet YouTube encoding is loving this rain right now. Oh, meat. More meat. Ham. <gasps> Bacon. Ding, 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 ding. Um. Oh, we got some paper. Some, another one of these rubber, why are these rubber rings? Oh, a pelican one, wow. Why are they everywhere here? I can't even, s I mean, I guess the villagers are sleeping, but they're all like wearing these rubber rings, don't they? All right. Uh, you can't do too much when it's nighttime like this because you're just gonna die. Raw bacon is so good. Not raw, I didn't mean raw. You meant raw, didn't you? You meant, come on, just admit it. You eat raw bacon. <laughs> oh yeah, eating dark chocolate is so weird, but someone here eats raw bacon. That's normal. <laughs> Why is a grown man do you need a floaty? Because it gives me Swim speed, apparently. Yes. Having a thing of a big rubber ring around you makes you swim faster. Of, of course. Uh, I'm just trying to catch up. Some here expired milk, chemicals, uh-huh. Aren't you glad you have such a normal audience, Nova? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. You know when they say that the audience fits the, uh, the creator, like the audience matches the creator? I think that's true in some, re in some ways, but not totally true. This chat's liking's weirder than any of the orders in the Papa's game. Yeah, we make fun of the Papa's game characters, but imagine if this lot... Imagine if you lot were Papa's game's characters. Oh, we'd have a field day. Oh, this is miserable, man. Right. You know, guys, you really need, like, um... Stairs. You know what I mean? I think those are, but here we go. I wouldn't say this is the most well-designed village I've ever seen, guys. Like, what is this? Also, your wheelchair access is non-existent. It'd all be closers, yeah. Should I wrap and bacon around mushrooms? No. Hmm. Lavender powder? Oh, don't start on the lavender. Oh, God. That's the thing with those Papa's games. It's always some shit. It's always some gross stuff in there. Whether it's lavender powder or... Pistachios. Warren? Talitha? Oh, uh, they're both unemployed. Sorry, but you're now imprisoned. We got shears, we got... Oh, I can make a bed, I need to do that actually. Janana is an icon. Well, she certainly uh, chose her thing and stuck to it. Got loads of food, actually. We're doing alright for food. I mean, there is probably a bed I could have stolen here, but pff, it's fine. I'll just, just do this. 
just don't know why I don't have the... Ah! Oh. No, don't do that. Hmm. There we go, we got the respawn point. Purple Burple. Well, Cluckeria has some bullshit when I tried playing it. Um, it's like a flaming berry. And then Fudini comes in really quickly and he orders that. Like, well, why even? You're just making stuff up at the beginning now. You can order an oob pizza at what now? I gotta do pizza at HD maybe next month. Uh, Cluckery is probably gonna be 1st of April. And then I wanna do maybe another burger at HD and round that one out. And then pizza at HD probably. And yeah. And whatever else. Maybe if I get to if I get onto Palatoria, that'd be good, obviously, because that's the new one. But I'm such a femboy dude. I'm just sitting here in a pink shirt and thigh highs. You do you, to be honest. Why is potato chips an option in a scooper ear? Whoa, 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 what? Ube and it's a yam. Oh, okay. Do I need to play more of Scooper here? Because I think it's going to get ridiculous. I need to do something in the game. This is a problem. Oh! But look! Coco! We could start our own Papa's restaurant in Minecraft. Oh, I need a Papa Louis skin. That'd be good. I don't know if I want to... You know, he might be a bit mad at me if I uh, take his image. No, I need a Voxen skin. That's what I'd want. Moose. Yeah, Moose did pull through for me at least in that video and gave me a perfect. Oh god, what am I actually doing here? What what's what do you do in Minecraft? You talk about Papa Louis. No. You mine and you craft. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that actually makes me think of one of the characters I'm planning on doing. It's not Minecraft related, but... I would do skin. I mean, if someone does it and I can uh, use it, I would be very appreciative of it. Because I managed to make this, but it took all my effort and it was very basic. So I'm not going to be able to do Voxen with his hair. Is there, be there a cave entrance around here somewhere? Well, that's not very useful. Whoa, oh yeah, I've got the ring, look how fast I am. Wow. Can you, do you want to do your actual, maybe he doesn't do it when he's got the ring on. Whoa, look at me go. Hmm. Oh, look at this little flower. Tucked away in the cave. Come on, little buddy. Let's bring you out to the light. I'm gonna eat it. Hopefully it doesn't taste like lavender. I don't even need a boat. Who needs boats, huh? Moose and Whipper kind of look like criminals. They are a bit dodgy. 
Something about them. How far away am I going now? Oof. There's some nonsense over here. Matt and Tony combined. Yes. <laughs> if you combine two white guys, you get another white guy. That's me. Although I couldn't do the hair. Uh, it's, just, it's very basic hair. Oh, a cave. All grown men need a floaty. Exactly. Everybody needs a floaty. Grown man, grown woman, grown they. Everyone. Ooh. Drippy drip cave noise. Yeah, I mean, Sundays... The, that Sundays and Scoop Areas are called Sundays as well. I mean, there's, I think someone said in the comments, basically, ice cream with toppings can be called a Sunday. But definitely, the freezer rare ones are the ones I'm more familiar with being called that. Ugh! Bloody pickaxe. Probably should have taken more wood with me. Uh, no, don't need more of those. I need this. What's the white? Oh, this. Salt. Why have I got two stone axes? I must have found one. Or I made another one without realising. Huh. Said something sus? What? Oh, the white stuff thing? Or did I say something sus? Oh, man. Ugh. Oh, I'm down to the... You made it an autopilot? Uh, probably, that yeah, sounds about right. I'm down to the gritty part of this drink now. We need a Papa Louis... Uh, Papa's Bar. Where you just serve alcohol. That's good. That's very... That's good for the kids. <laughs> Get them drinking early, guys. That's what I say. Lead. I believe the word is lead. I used to eat handfuls of salt as a child. See, that's what gets you. you. Eat too much salt, you turn into a femboy, I'm afraid. You'd think it'd be sugar, but no. Can you do Skyrim cooking in this mod pack? Uh, probably. You can do everything, look at this. Look. Even this bullshit tech that I don't care about. I did do some tech stuff before and actually got into it, but... Oh my god! What? I, I don't know what this is. What do you mean, niotic? What was that? What was that? Spirited? Nitro? Honestly, I feel safer down here than on the surface. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Mangoes might remember. Oh no, okay, we don't have it. There was a mod called Alex's Mobs. And it had a horrendous giant centipede mod that lived underground. And it could squeeze through a one block gap. It was awful seeing that thing come out of the darkness. Creepiest thing I've seen anyone mod into Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> PTSD. I wonder what Wally would order in a bar. Hmm. Papa Stanley Caparia. <laughs> Give me those oars. I got zinc as well. Anyone want a zinc? Anyone want a zinc? A bit of copper? Tin? Anyone want some tin? Get some of your five a day. Antimony? 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 It's probably antimony, isn't it? Antimony? Or is it antimony? You know, like Twitter antis, but for money. No money? Oh, shit. Hang on, let me put my shield on. Hey! Hey! I'm not ready. Please. Oh, my God. Come on, there you go. I can't see him. He can't see me. Oh. You are right the first time? Antimony, really? That seems the wrong way around, which is what I call overcooked. Wrong way around. That's from the Cooking Sim Part 3 video. Piece of fish was overcooked and I called it wrong way around. I mean, it makes sense in context, but... Sapphire? I need iron axe for that. Iron pickaxe. Oh, there's modded ores everywhere, so I don't find any bloody iron, of course. Blunite. Yep. Just give me more bullshit. That's good. Urine. Sorry, what? Uranite. 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 Just say uranium. Uranite. Poor. Oh, poor thing. Poor thing is poor, poor. Mayo plus blueberry drink. <laughs> <gasps> wow. Oh, I'm so lucky with my one iron. Oh, God. It's not that far down, actually. You can see there, but that makes it seem like the abyss. Hey. Strafe him. Strafe him. Oh, shit. Hello, my friend. Just coming by. Don't mind me. Ruby. I've gone way too deep into here. Uh, I shouldn't have done this. I got carried away. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, freezer is pretty cool. Pretty nice, pretty tasty. Oh man, I wrong weighed the turkey, yeah. There was something else stupid I realised I did when I was editing, but I forgot it. So, you know. I should have just gone for those surface ores, because there was a lot of stuff up there. This was a bad idea. All I've got is a rubber ring. God, there's a car coming up the road, and I thought it was the fucking nuclear alarm going off for a second. That freaked me out. It sounded really weird. It was like... I could start to do the initial noise of a siren. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, why not make it clip size of population 12? Why not make it 13? Thousand mods for Undertale and Minecraft. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I don't really know much about Undertale. I mean, hi. Oh, my God. That's intolerable. Something about a tail and it's something underground? I don't know. Genuinely, all I've seen is like the memes reference, and I don't get it. Oh. It's nighttime still, though. You made Roxon look like an evil girl. Uh, it's easy to happen, probably, with long hair. But I said I'm not a girl! Holy shit. Well, I was trying to get back up at the moment, actually. But no, I don't want to go back up because it's still dark up there. You kill your mom in Undertale. Wow. Sign me up. <laughs> you know what I saw, actually? Have you ever seen that bit life game? Uh, where it's like Sims, but abstracted to just UI. But you just play through a life and see what happens. I don't know, it looks like some mobile bullshit, but... I looked at that, and it had like a limited time event, and it was like, your mother has always held you back. It's time to put an end to her. I was like, what? That's the current event, kill your mother simulator. I mean, I'm going to make a, you know, I'm going to be playing lots of simulators probably in the future, but that might be a, be a bit much for me. Along with a Markiplier video I got recommended, which, which was... Uh, Watching porn at work simulator or some shit. I was like, what? I know, if I died playing Minecraft, I... Oh, Kill your goat stepmother who wanted to kidnap you. Ah. Oh. That makes a lot more sense. And a Voxer and a customer palooza. <laughs> Let's wreck the vote. <laughs> yes. Make me official. Like those Minecraft content creators who get people to vote for the, the mob. And the mob vote. I don't think they'd accept Jim Allen, would they? Yeah, guys, here's my uh, customer palooza entry. He's a fucking serial killer. Yeah, but I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty friendly guy, as long as I don't stab you. I'm taking your stuff. Shh, Giuseppe, it's okay. Now get out of the bed. Out! Get out! Alright, he's not gonna get out. How about those people voted for bees? The votes are a bit... Uh, they're a little bit annoying, I know. I do find them a bit... Well, well, well. A grey toy shark. Hmm. Interesting. Ah! Hey, what's going on up here? One of you owns a blah... blah... I don't know how to say it. One of those shark toys. So, uh, Colby? Napoleon? Victor? Iron Golem? Hey! I'm not saying anything. 
What am I supposed to do with this? Why have I? Why is this a mod that I have in this mod pack? Why? 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 Why do I have this? Ah. I got some iron, but yeah, what I wanted to do really. How did I get so far away? Oh my god. Although this is pretty good, because look, we've got two mingling villages here. Maybe I should move over here. That place was a bit sparse, wasn't it, where I was? Big coal source there. I want to be where the people are. Oh, someone's getting hurt down there. Are you okay? Blah high. Blah high. Okay. Iron Golem is trans for sure. <laughs> Why I'm the only one who likes steam? Steam? What? Steam what? Blahaj? What? I'm being told two different things. Don't die. Oh, you're pulling my brain in two different directions. I don't know what. Now I don't know what to believe. Please. I'm an old man. I'm an old 26 year old man. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta explain things slowly to me. Anyone who liked to stream? Oh, <laughs> the steam. S streamed hams. Uh, ready? Wee! Oh, fishies. Pondy. Oh, I won't kill you. Oh, I don't really expect likes on like the stream. It's not really relevant, so. Because it's not really like um, something to be pushed in the algorithm, it's just for you guys. Like, I'm not trying to get... I'm not trying to get people to come in for this. From outside. Oh, right. Swedish way in. Non-Swedish way. Boiled chicken. Mmm. Yes. With no seasoning as well, right? Blossom. Anyway, why do I have one? Can I do anything with this? I don't know why I have that. Hey, what What do you think you're doing, huh? What's your name? Pillager? Oh, you don't get a name, I guess. Sorry. That means you are worthless. Nameless. Like somebody we know. I need to eat. See, my microphone's in the way of the bottom of the screen, so I can't see that I'm hungry. It's just like real life. Forgot to eat lunch today. Voxen looks like an MMORPG elf guy. What are you doing to Voxen? Up we go. Oh, this is the accessibility. You just climb up here. Right. Well, I would like to move over there, but I got so much stuff. I need a I mean, a backpack would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, let's find out. Let's find out. Maybe these can be useful to me in some way. 
Soft Toy Shark mod, 16 pixel, 16 whatever that means, 16 PX. I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. I think that's just, you just can get one. I'm really glad we have bloat mods in this mod pack. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of, uh, it's been a lot of fan art of Vox and Anne vibes actually I've seen on the Discord, which is quite nice. It's been very, uh, very nice to see. That's the nice thing about making characters, really, because my old channel, right, my previous channel, there wasn't anything like that. I didn't make any characters. I was just talking about Kingdom Hearts, so people would make fan art of Kingdom Hearts. They wouldn't be making any fan art for me. There was a couple of pieces, like, there was a couple of drawings of me. Uh, I need to ask, actually, one of my mods, because he did a drawing of me with um, Wally, because we ended up talking about Wally on stream. Which is pretty cute. Uh, I need to see if we can send that again because I deleted that Discord server and lost it. But but when you make characters, you're actually creating something, right? So can you place it on your bed? Uh, maybe. Oh, I guess you can probably just place it anywhere, can't you? Oh, yep. There you go. Uh, all right. So let's have a look at these quests again. No. Done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Backpack. It gave me the tanks already, which is a good start. But I don't remember how to do it. Backpack. Ah, leather, gold, sleeping bag, chest. Right. Sleeping bag is... Just three wool. I can do that now. Use that one. Yep, it's the same one. Um, leather, <laughs> murder time, and gold. I've got a piece of gold, actually. I think it might give me that. Just need some leather. Ah, well, well, well. Cows, hmm? Maybe in these bits? This is the best Minecraft mod. <laughs> so Blau Blau is a fan favorite. He's the I think they I think they are the most um most liked to one when I did that poll and probably still would be the case. It's because the Blau Blau is just such an interesting creature. Such a funny little thing. And let me tell you, The Sims as a blah blah is pretty strange too. Looks odd because I couldn't do like I couldn't not have a nose. Couldn't really make them look like a bowling ball, but they look like a bit of a. I'm gonna be honest. The so blah blah on The Sims looks like a baby. They look like a baby or Mega Mind, but not blue. Uh, but so I did the best I could. But the blah blah's form can shift and change at will. So it's okay. Really? No cows anywhere here? Ah! What a beautiful thing. I don't know if I actually get leather from these, though. <gasps> I do! <laughs> don't run! Hey! Two. It's for the greater good cows, I'm afraid. 
Next Sims episode, Monday, should be. What character of yours would you want to be a official character in the franchise? Oh, I would choose Voxen. Because he's my main guy, you know. He's the first one. He's the one where the Kingdom Hearts links. So he kind of ties everything together. So blah blah is boss baby. We got any more of those uh, flower cows? Flowers? It's a long haired cow. Yes. Yeah, Voxen was very much based on, like, nobodies in Kingdom Hearts, because it's Nova rearranged with an X added, like all those characters in Kingdom Hearts, so that's where that comes from. And then, like, design with the tan skin and the the white hair, the grey hair, is obviously, like, Xehanort, Ansem. Ansem from Kingdom Hearts is my favourite game villain, so he's obviously a lot based on him, but... The voice is more my just like silly over the top villain voice. The vegan teacher is on her way. She spawns into the world. Little health bar comes up at the top. <laughs> then fucking Vault of the Boreal Valley comes up. The Dark Souls meme music. Ho 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 ho. Man, Dark Souls 3 is fucking... I've got to replay that as well at some point. I mean, I've played that lots, though. Cowplant? Sims? Rodney, yeah, 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 have a little glance in my direction. Why are you sleeping under my blhai? What are you doing? Hmm? This is my bed. Get the fuck out of there. Actually, I won't sleep just yet. Let's uh, do this backpack. Can we draw fan art? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what I was saying. There's been like... um. Fan of Voxen vibes and blah blah now on the Discord. I'm very, like I was saying, I'm always pleased to see fan art. Rodney is obviously trans. I'm letting Rodney get away with it just because the name Rodney makes me think of robots. Uh, particularly the uh, PS2 licensed game, Robots. Which I will be doing video or a video or two on at some point. I don't know when, but at some point I will do it. I don't care if it gets 200 views. I'm going to fucking do it. Just like I will with A Bug's Life. I might do that next month. I don't know. But it might be too soon. I'm going to preach about my childhood games, okay? I'm going to defend them from all the little GameSpot reviewer pieces of shit. You want to give them a 3 or a 2 out of 10? No. You don't understand the brilliance of A Bug's Life 1998 video game. Or 1997, I think it's 7. You just don't get it. Also, the music is fucking really good. Uh, yes, so the backpack. I'm... Uh, I think I just blacked out for a second there. Uh... So we need that, we need that, we need chesticle. I'm not taking that back. Uh, it's quite easy, really, for a powerful thing. Standard traveler's backpack. Oh, they've changed this. Oh, they have changed this. I think they've made it a bit more reasonable, because that's a lot less space than there was before. No, I don't want to put it... Uh, fucking... 
Give me that. How do you equip it again? How do you like put it on? You used to be able to equip it. Maybe you can't anymore. Do I have to like put it on? No. I know you can press B to look at it when it's equipped, but... Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. There we go, look. I'm an adventurer. You're so right, I never played a 19... a 97 to 98 video game. You people are all probably younger than that. Goddamn Zoomers, Gen Alpha, goddamn... Uh, you've done the Voxen skin, let me see. Actually, that looks pretty good, I'd say. I don't want to mess around trying to put it on right now, because I don't want to, like, go on my account and stuff, but next stream, if I keep playing this... I'll put that on. Looks pretty good. Makes his hair very shiny. Honestly, I like the Bugs Life movie, but the reason I like the movie is because of the game, which I played first. Like, I wouldn't... Like, it's... I mean, it's a pretty... I think it's underrated for Pixar, because obviously it comes between the two Toy Stories, and... Then you got Monsters Inc. and Finding Nemo and all that. So Bugs Life doesn't really have like the emotional core. It's a bit more of a sort of Well, it's seven samurai, isn't it? But look at all these different backpacks. You get special abilities, but um Yeah, I think you have to find these in chests. I don't think Well this says you can make it, but maybe some of them you can't. Some of these I remember being overpowered as fuck though. Immune to fire? This isn't hard to make, you know? You shouldn't have a fire immunity, surely, from... See what I mean? That just... Mm, that seems a little much. Yeah, I really, it was the game that I really liked. The goddamn music, though. Okay, I will... I will quickly go off topic for the music. Even just like the title screen of the Bugs Life game. Just like, oh Jesus, okay, well, this is the, this is the Pixar thing, okay. And some of the, like the memorable stuff, like the ant hill. There's a really nice bit in this. Yeah. And you got like the tunnel music. It's really very, it's very good soundtrack for what it is, you know. One of those things where the. Uh, Composers went really hard. But don't worry, <laughs> you'll see me gushing about that in due time. <laughs> uh, most YouTubers will probably make like one video like, hey, look at this funny little game. I'm going to make a video where I just show the funniest sort of moments from me playing it. No, I will make like five videos if I have to. I'm going to show every fucking little corner of that game. Okay. I don't care if it kills my channel. Uh, anyway, what? What was I doing? Oh, I should probably sleep. Get out, it's my plush. Um, no, if you want less underrated so we can get a Vox and plushies. Be good, wouldn't it? Get a Vox and plush, that'd be pretty cool. I had like a million subscribers, maybe. <laughs> Ain't gonna get a million subscribers making five Bugs Life videos, but. 
so your rocks and plushie and unicycle up to your house. Oh, definitely unicycle, yeah. Won't be worth it otherwise. Be a pretty tanned seamstress, that's cool. thing is, the, the terrifying thing about a Voxen plush is what people might do with it. I'm afraid of, uh, yeah, the, the things that could happen there. I don't, I don't really get this milk thing, but there's something to do with milk. And jars. Alright, I've got a backpack now, so should be able to take all this stuff and bring it over to the place I want to be. Should be able to put it in there as well, in the crafting grid. But yeah, this is actually good. The smaller space feels way more reasonable. I would feed him and walk him every day. Well, that's good. Alright, we need to go over here. I was a bit iffy about a map. Because I do think there's something to be said about not having, you know, having just a normal Minecraft maps and not being able to see everything. And being a little bit lost sometimes, but with all these mods, I think I probably need the map. It's probably too... Everything's a bit too extreme to not, you know, to make it too hardcore. So... Certainly wouldn't play hardcore Minecraft on this. There's probably stuff that can one-shot me, even with armor, so... Pour milk on him, suck the milk back out. Yeah, slam his wet body into walls and listen to making loud... Yeah, stuff like that. That's the thing, yeah. There was a mini map as well. Usually you have um, you have this, right? I don't like it. I don't like mini maps. I am an I'm anti mini map. I don't need the map there on my bloody screen all the time, guiding my hips. No, I'll just look at the map when I want to look at the map. If a game has a mini-map, it makes me like it less, if I can't turn it off. U2's on makeshift, yeah. You'd have to be a big YouTuber. I saw another YouTuber, uh... Thurm, I think his name is. Tried to do a plush, but not enough people showed interest in it for them to get made. Which makes sense, because, you know, everyone's struggling more these days. Fucking finances and everything. I feel like you need a really big audience for something like that to be safer a bit. Yeah, I don't really know where all this milk nonsense started, but I just always see it come up. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Oh, God. Hey. Now that's pretty cool. That looks like a pretty cool abode living there. I can... Oversee my subjects down in the twin villages. Hmm. Depends if it's uh, got a bunch of enemies in it. It's also got a lightning rod on the top. <laughs> yes, I'd like a larger tower than that, but I suppose it will do for now. I'm finding I'm trying to squat in a place, obviously, because I don't know how to build in this game. So, bros playing Minecraft, yeah. Wee. Oh, 
a white yarn, a sock, two googly eyes, and you got Voxen. <laughs> oh, I can go up now. Ugh. 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 Probably shouldn't make noises like that. Oh, I've had to cut some sus noises out of video sometimes, let me tell you. I didn't mean to make them. Oh, I shouldn't go in there. No, don't, don't use the axe. Box and plushie, it would look like Uzi from Murder Drones. I have heard about that because I did watch the Digital Circus thing. No, I never watched that. I don't know. It was, a, it was like one of those things where it was a bit off-putting for me, but... Hello, snail. What are you doing in your shell? Come out. Let's have a chat. I'll leave it. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I hope there's none of these thick snow, deep snow, snowy snows. It's the last thing I need. I don't know if I want to live in the cold, though. Hello? Anybody home? Oh. Hi! Oh, whoa, oh yeah, I remember this now. I've seen this before. We don't need no mana leeching going on here, thank you. Subscribed. Oh, hello, just to chat in the stream. I didn't think it would get shown to anyone, honestly. I was kind of doing it more for my subscribers already, so... Yeah, that's why it's on sub mode. Also, I was worried about bots, but I probably shouldn't be, but... But this is, uh... Prominence 2. I think it just says Prominence when you go on here, but... It was called Prominence 2. On the, uh, Curse Forge. Escargo in Minecraft. Let's find out. You can make Esker. Um, snail. Snail eggs. S a bucket of snail. A snail shell. And a snail spawn egg. Magical bookshelf. Hmm. Oh, this is some blue stuff. Alright, hold on. I could make... Oh, I don't know. Is this going to turn into... No, okay. None of that's going to turn into anything. Okay, we have a slate. I mean, I could be here, but I'm not really sure I want to be in here. Because i got to go down this little mountain every time. Maybe that looks like a sizable building. Maybe I could use that for now. Or that. Alright, we don't need some of this bullshit. Look, hang on. I don't need a pointed dripstone, right? Well, you can actually use that for stuff. But... I'll just come back for the rest of that. It's, when there's so much for me to look at like this, I just get completely confused. I don't know what I'm looking at. It's too much for me. Is the mod good? I don't know. I've only just started checking out, honestly. It does seem like one of those maybe a little overcomplicated mod packs, like case in point. Uh, one of those where there's a lot to do, but sometimes you're getting pulled in so many directions. Uh, so I guess we'll have to find out, but...
If you like being directed though, it's good because there's lots of quests, which is probably good for me because a lot of time with Minecraft, I just, I modded Minecraft, I just don't know what to do next really. What makes a bookshelf so magical? Nothing. There is no secret ingredient. I'm really hooked on small, pretty cure. What? The, the what? The what? What? Let's go to this big building and have a look. Oh no, this is like a sleeping quarters, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I just want to squat in someone's house. Well, we can have a look over there, I guess. Holy! Uh oh, it's going to get super dark again. Run, run, run. Whoa, more flower cows. What? Wow, what a hole. Okay, maybe we won't look at that right now. What's the plural of house? Heiss? Yes. In uh, in the Queen's English, I mean the King's English. Well, if you guys don't mind, I will be... Uh... Oh, I forgot my bed. It's good enough. Wait, I left my blahai thing behind, didn't I? I left it behind. Well, that villager looks like they're enjoying it, so I'll just leave it for them, honestly. What the hell are you lot doing? How did you get yourselves into this situation, Myra, Larry, and Brit? The three stooges of villagers, huh? Yeah. You're just going to be trapped there now, aren't you? Great job, guys. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to dump a few things in here for the time being. Just so... Right, carpet, yeah. Just so I can have a look at that little building. Coconut. The blue one. I didn't actually have a proper look. There was one here, wasn't there? Gil steel. No, sorry. Glisteel ingot. Glisteel ingot. So, uh, yeah. You know what that means, right? One time I high five my friend so hard I could get a goal handball, fracture one of the bones in her hand. Man! Oh, it's the same... It's the same thing, but not... Way up on a hill. I, f I feel like I almost fractured my own hand once, but... Because it was... Oh, God, it was hurting for a while. It was a big pain. Big pain, and then... Long pain. Um, but it healed up. I couldn't, like... It still feels weird till this day, though. Like, to this day, my left hand. Pinky finger, like, below the pinky finger. Still feels a little odd. Like, just stiffer. So we got another one of these right here. I mean, this will do for now. There we go, look. We got an ancient scroll. Wow. 
Ugh, get the grass out of here. Okay, let's just uh, oh, let's start doing some stuff. I didn't bring my wood. It's okay, we'll get some. Doing silly drawing of Voxen plushie, nice. Although you always spell Voxen with an E. I mean, I don't know if you're intentionally doing that, but it should be an A at the end. But. Unless my name is Novi. Novi on. More things to kill. Probably should start a farm though, right? Uh, thing is, I always play mod packs. But I never play basic Minecraft, so I'm not actually good at even the basics of the game. It's not a good place to be at. We have got a crafting grid right here, you know. I already had some wood, apparently, but... Just do a couple of those. Oh, there's one here as well. No. Nope. I miss my other thing. Oh, that's going to be awkward. Alright, fuck sorting this out right now. You know, I could do that off stream or something. Sorting things is not particularly enthralling, but then again, we are just kind of talking anyway. But Oh, sticky motherfucker. Won't stop. Well, it's not sticking, that's the problem. Uh <clears throat> Right, let's just dump everything so I can take keep the sword just in case. So I can take everything over. Oh actually I got some stuff in the backpack. Yeah, wait a second, when I say take everything over, there's not that much, but Might be more stuff in some of those villager chests, you know. Stuff to acquire. Stuff to steal! Fox and skills once again come into use. You wouldn't steal a car, but well, I would. Novion. I'm very surprised that there are other people called Novion on the internet. It's quite disturbing, but what can you do? I mean, I made this name for Twitch, not to stream, but just to watch Twitch. It was the first place I used it, back in, like, 2013 or something, probably. Um, then I made it for my Xbox account, and then I just started using it for everything, and then I used it for my YouTube channel, my original one. What the hell? Just kind of stuck there, isn't it? I just realized I'm going towards that, but that's not it. That's not where I put my stuff. But there are some other Novions that... I don't know. I'm not too pleased with. How dare they? There can be only one. Oh, I forgot where I was. Let's just grab this anyway. Oh, things. Luton. I love Luton. I love Luton, the town. I need a bed, so if you don't mind, <laughs> be taking that green bed. What did you. S Sorry, I was. I need to catch up a little bit here. Uh, I almost broke a bone in my hand one time when I was playing the piano and somehow accidentally hit my hand on the damn thing really hard. Yeah, some sort of nerve damage from playing a guitar. <laughs> Instruments are dangerous. That's basically what I did. I mean, I didn't almost break it, I don't think, but... I jumped off a trampoline and smacked it on the side of a sofa. 
I know that sounds kind of odd, but it does make sense. My hand went flying into a, the arm, like the hard part of a, an, an arm of a sofa. I just smashed into it. Nova does mean... Nova is Latin for new, isn't it? Uh, new something female. Yeah, well, that's because it's an A suffix, isn't it? But... YouTube boxing match, yeah. Well, this thing is not even YouTube, it's someone on Facebook called Novion. I won't say their neck their second name, but their first name is Novion. Okay. Uh someone on like you know those Twitter alternatives like Mastodon? There was someone on there called Novion. And they were a furry. I couldn't believe it. They were like a furry from what, from what, like, the, there was only a couple of tweets, but from the tweets, it was like, furry programmer, like, you know that meme, the, the whole thing, femboy programmer, furry, something, something. It was like, oh, it's just that stuff. I was like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Excuse me, but <laughs> that's, I can't have people thinking that's my account. And then there was someone called Novion without the A, which is how my dad pronounces it. Novion. It's n no, it's Novion, <laughs> not Novion. Okay. Nova is a very furry name. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll not accept this. There's loads of Novas on the internet, like. Male and female, there's loads and, and whatever, just Nova is a pretty common thing, but Novion, I would hope would be a little, you know, a little more unique, but no, nothing is unique, nothing is sacred. You can't have anything. I need to make uh, iron pickaxe now. The name comes from, I've explained it to my Kingdom Hearts audience before, but... I've explained it in the last stream, I think it comes from one of my childhood games, Tacky on the Fringe, which I will also do a video about someday, but you know, we'll see when that happens, that'll probably be a long time, which is like a space sim game, you know, pew pew bang bang in space, shoot other people, shoot other ships, customize your ship, go on missions kind of thing, from 2000, it's called Tacky on the Fringe. And it was made by developer was Nova Logic. Don't exist anymore. But I just combined Nova and the Yon from Tachyon, and there we go, there's a name. I tried jumping down the trampoline when I was like six. Yeah. It seems a really good idea to do that at the time, doesn't it? And then you do it. And it's actually not. <laughs> Because you're going onto suddenly a hard surface after you've been bouncing on a bouncy one. And if you don't bend your knees properly. Some alternate universe where Nova become a computer programmer and a furry. Well, I was in robotics. That was already close enough with the programming, to be honest. But I didn't never liked it. Hated it. But Nova would be a good... F you'd be a good furry. <sighs> It's quite interesting because, um, oh, this is a bit exposed, isn't it? Uh, let's change this. Both of my channels have, like, I oh, will just do one because I don't want it to be uneven. Well, I was saying about it on the Discord, I was showing the stats. The original channel has a lot more, like, According to the stats, there's a lot more like male dominated, but the actual people who would turn up to my Twitch streams and stuff, quite a diverse group, especially uh, like, you know, LGBT stuff. Pretty diverse. And then my new channel is also equally, if not more, diverse when it comes to that from the looks of things. Hello, Rin Rin.
Got cuts and bruises on every single limb. Damn. Just collecting them all. Why don't you show your face on this channel you did on the other one? I just don't think there's any point. There's no need to, right? I like the videos being voice only. They're better for editing because I can move the audio around and it doesn't unsync with my face. So that's really good. Uh, I just don't want anything getting in the way of the screen. I don't, I, I don't really feel the need to broadcast my face to the entire internet, you know? Especially not anymore, so... Like... I would potentially do it for these streams in the future. Uh, but, like, I don't feel the need to right now. Also, my hair still hasn't fully grown back to the length I want yet, so I'm not happy with it. But <laughs> but not in videos. The videos are just going to be voice only. It's just so much cleaner. I like everything to be clean. Dare I say simple. Will you face reveal to these people? I already have, technically. Because, uh... It's, I mean, it's not obvious. Are you bold? No, I'm not bold, but I shaved it in December and it's still quite short. Oh, it's at that awkward point where the front isn't long enough, but the back is getting longer. But once the front, the fringe is longer. Anyway, I already did. Technically. Uh, here. So, you know, I've already done it. <laughs> Technically, so... <laughs> just that it's hidden in a video. <laughs> Oops. Probably shouldn't be showing that, should I? Yeah, I had a buzz cut for a bit. Until I grew back. I just don't see that, like, it doesn't really mean anything to me. The game is the important thing, right? So gay people need to socialize on the internet. That's just how it is. That's a good point, Mangoes. That's, that's the thing, really, isn't it? Oh. oh, it's nighttime again. Fucking hell. I forgot about that. I want to see you start mewing. What? I don't know how to do that. Oh no, don't say it. You got doe eyes. Don't say that. <sighs> Not one of my mods said before. Well, he said it in their little private server. <sighs> he said. I forgot. No, what did he say? Oh yeah, he said I've never described Nova as I wouldn't describe, yeah, what was it? I've never described Nova as hot, but he is very pretty, like a cat boy or an elf. I was like you you, you could you might as well have just just thrown me in a river, honestly. Saying that like it's meant to be a compliment, I know, but why? <laughs> But that was a couple of years ago. And now I look older and more tired. So, you know. Let's see. What I got a backpack. We've done that. Let's grab all this out of here. Boy or elf, god damn it, fucking catboy, I'll show cat boy and elf fucking I remember that. It's just no, 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 no you don't need to do that, man goes. <laughs> Can I look like my dad with darker hair? Hmm. It's gotta be a bit weird then. Funny thing is my dad looks like me but with grayer hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Can 
Can you become my father? Uh, probably not. I don't think that's allowed. Or a good idea. Uh, do I have the bed? Did I take the bed? Yes. Femboy costume reveal then. I'm not pulling that off, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not parasynical. I got a beard. I'm pretty hairy. This ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to work. Uh, sleeping in the Minecraft bed made me uh, feel sleepy myself. So there's obviously a meteor impact there. And there's another one there. These things are everywhere though. What the fuck? This place was riddled with them. This is a grown man. Yeah. It's all jokes though, isn't it? So. <laughs> I'm not uh not the type to get Prissy or whatever, what do you call it? Offended, like, oh god, no, you can't make those kinds of jokes, guys. My masculinity, you know. Oh, uh, he rate Vox and Plushy. Uh, let's see. <laughs> God, you're cranking out a lot of these. It's pretty good. There we go. There's the uh there's the the template. <laughs> there's the template for uh send that over to U2s or whatever. There you go, guys. I've been turned into a marketable plush. This is disgraceful. Right, I need to do something. Um, what do I need to do? Oh, I was meant to smelt. I was meant to smelt something, I forgot about that. Uh, I did smelt it, yes. Oh, I'm so easily distracted. This is why I can't play any game that requires more than a couple of brain cells on stream. Because it's too much for me to deal with. Still got my floaty. Cat man. <laughs> it's, uh, hey, excuse me. Uh, don't call me a cat boy, okay? I'm a man. I'm a cat man. <laughs> Please. Yeah, we could try and get some more iron now. I mean, I could go back down to here because there's some stuff definitely down here. So, do that. Get rid of that one. We'll call this. Oh, little, little homey home. Little homey home. I'm giving away one of my future character voices there. Oh, pet! When are you buying a maid outfit? When pigs fly! <laughs> when hell pigs freeze over fly. I'm telling you, I'm the wrong person, okay? I got nothing against it. I got nothing against people, you know, wearing whatever they want, expressing themselves however they want. But some people, it makes sense for and some people it doesn't. And it doesn't it make sense for me. I mean, I'm very tempted to uh, repeat that World of Goo video and 
just wear a shirt and tie if, whenever I do a rare face cam appearance. But it's a bit awkward because in the winter that'd be too cold when I'm streaming, and in the summer that'd be too hot. That's the thing. I did like it though. It was a thing. You gotta have a thing. Let's give her pig wings. Pigs on the wing. Oh, iron. Mm-hmm. If you come here to see top-tier Minecraft gameplay, you definitely come to the wrong place. It's going to be stumbling through the game, especially this mod pack. And yapping about some bullshit. Or if one of the Minecraft mods have pigs that fly. Pig spawn, piglin, zombified, piglin, fly. Well, uh, that's it for this stream, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, just uh, decided it's not really my thing. Uh, we'll, we'll do something else. We'll play some Halo instead, you know. Do something else instead. That'd be fine. <laughs> We're here for the yapping. Good. <coughs> uh, so what was I saying about quitting? <laughs> good. Ah, oh, good. Yeah. Real voice reveal. <laughs> Why is there a flying pig? Better nether. Pride of the piglins. That name goes hard? What? I need to drink some water. Clearly, my throat's not having a good time. Ah. Uh, right. So, I was trying to go south. South, yes. Always like to go in south. And is the voice reveal coming? When is the real accent reveal coming? It's all a fake accent. It's put on. I'm not actually British. Just pretending to be. Yeah, I can't believe it isn't real. Just trying to sound more classy, you know. Sound more classy by doing an accent that isn't particularly classy, but... Don't worry, I'm an American. There's nothing to fear. Inbred coquette. I'm inbred myself. British moment. Royal family moment. Here we go, look. So there might be some stuff here. We got the lovely noise of seagulls, like I don't hear that enough. Ah. Oh, I love it when this happens. Alright, uh, game's having a little problem, innit? <laughs> hey, come on, mate. Uh, come on. Come on, Minecraft, I believe in you. You can do it. You're having a little trouble, I'm going to end up dead. Uh... Oh. Are we okay now? 
Or was there something? Oh yeah, we're back. Okay. Little server. I don't know what it's called, but a little problem there. Thought you're Australian? <laughs> no. Only when things are thick, smooth, oh, and creamy. All right, we're here now. I'll get rid of that. Uh. Iron. If there's any more iron, that would be highly appreciated. I was referencing something, don't worry. I was referencing as an Australian spoon. Thought you kids were all uh, caught up on the memes. <laughs> Come on now. I'm definitely not just always behind on everything that's going on. There wasn't a whole lot in here. Ski smooth. Hey, what the heck? Look at this chicken. And I can see how many seconds until the next egg. Let's count together. Oh, no, okay. Oh, shit, it's getting dark. It's about to rapidly become dark. Uh, oh, no. I might just have to maybe just do a bit of caving. Oh shit. Hello. Run. Oh god damn it, run out of stamina. Wait, is that a... Do I have stamina? No, I don't. I just can run. So, the, Oh, God. Wow, that's terrifying. Time to go. How far behind in pop culture media are you? Do you know Ice Spice? I've heard of the name. Yeah, like Cocator. Um... That Avengers movie was good, right? Hope they make a. Hope they keep doing some more of those. Be cool to see some of the more obscure, like comic characters as well, like Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know if they'd be able to pull off a movie of that though. Uh, and then like Ant Man, nah, they could never do that. That'd be pretty rubbish. Imagine like a trilogy. Nah, they wouldn't be able to do that. I don't think. But uh, there's definitely some more stuff they could do. I think if they sort of just end it with uh, that purple guy. Just end it there, then it'll probably be a pretty good, like, sort of series. And everyone will fondly remember it and not think anything bad of it. I don't think Disney would just milk something to death. Come on. Disney is a very respectable corporation. Spicy ice. Ah. Oh. Wait, was she the one who was a Nazi? Or was that something else? Imagine if that Galactus dude was in it. I know. Oh god, I'm just in no man's land here. Oh, what is this void? Huh? Bro, what? Go. What's going? What? What? 
I don't think so. Wasn't somebody a Nazi? Oh, it must have been someone else. I don't know, it all blurs into one, you know, I stopped looking at Twitter for my own health. Oh, this was a bad idea. I thought this I thought the river was there, but it was further. Hey, what's this? House is over there. Oh, I'm so fast in the water, I can be bobbing along. Oh! I'm faster than you! <laughs> See- oh my god, see you later! <laughs> uh, goodbye, fool! Not scary at all. It's just blocks. What wasn't my Minecraft nickname? A. I'm gonna say A, so somebody says something. Oh, my wrist, real gaming hours going on here, man. How long have I been streaming for? Like, two hours? Two and a bit hours? God damn, that's too much gaming. Actually, for most of my videos now, I only record for like an hour to two hours and then edit that to a 20 to 30 minute video. I, ca I cannot play a game for too long, like just recording. <sighs> so draining, man. I used to be able to play games for hours when I was young. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this when you get older. I don't know why, but you just can't do it anymore. It's just too tiresome. Old man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> ah! Okay, just, uh, there we go. Oh, it wasn't lollipolly. Well, there we go. Yeah, Kanye West was doing some nonsense. I remember that. Oh, yee. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't expecting it to launch itself into the water like that. Hello, Valentine. Oh, it's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. Let's... <laughs> Books life game reference. <laughs> I need some armor. That's really yeah. That needs to happen here. We got these stupid rubber rings, but there's so many hearts. My God, there's so many hearts. My God, it's full of stars. Now that's an old fucking reference. Jeez, I'm really sure I'm my age. Well, I'm not because that's older than me by a long way, but. What's your guys' favorite uh, band or artists, right? I'm sure I will be able to know who these people are and relate. Hey, maybe I'll be surprised. Shouldn't assume. Galaxy in Spoon. I had a soup with stars. I like had a soup with... St a soup with... This is already... Uh, I don't understand what's going on, but... <laughs> I looked in Spoon and I was like, there's a whole damn galaxy in there. Oh, so thick, smooth. Galaxy of stars. And a spoon. The sus spoon. Right, I've already got a chest technically, so we'll do legs. Oh, it leaves me with an awkward three. Are uh, Arctic monkeys? I know them. Oranges and lemons? Don't know that. Caro Caro Bonito? Don't know that. Drums and Frank Ocean? I know one of those. Lemon Demon? No. Tally Hall? No. Queen? No. Never heard of Queen. <laughs> Who the fuck is Queen? <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, of course. I do know Queen. I heard Queen growing up. Her sister, especially. Huge Queen fan. Of course I do like Queen. They're not my favourite band, though. 
Pink Floyd is my favorite. Uh, if I was face cam, you'd see my Pink Floyd posters I've got on the wall behind me here. And my Pink Floyd vinyl I've got up on the shelf. And my Arion vinyl. Well, it's not vinyl, it's CDs, but Arion limited release. Right, let's leave that coal in there. Uh, let's do a little, a few more torches, you know. Oh, I'll leave it there actually. Remember when you were young? I love Pink Floyd. Fellow fan spotted. The neighborhood? Uh, I don't think so. S Z A, S Z A, Z. By the way, who was it who made fun of me saying H with a H? Huh? When I said Burger Air HD, I said HD, not like HD, HD. How dare you? It's very rude. Little homey home. It's not really homey though, is it? It's actually not homey at all. It's a stone tower. So, hmm. Scissor. Scissor. Okay. Oh, Scissor Sisters. I know that. <laughs> no, my, most of my uh, music is rock, prog rock, bit of metal, bit of like, I do like sort of jazzy stuff. I like Bossa Nova. Uh, I like blues rock. I like synth wave. Uh, what should we? I'm always like, now what do I do? You know, I mean, I need more iron, obviously. Never enough iron. We can have a look over there. Wearing a cure shirt. Willwood and Lulliam. Yeah. Well, I've, there's just been a couple of things I recognize, at least. Most of the music I listen to is from the 70s and 80s, so... I'm a bit out of touch. You're out of touch! <laughs> You're out of time! Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Invite my girlfriend to stream. Hopefully, she, hopefully she's not completely put off. Oh. I, I just thought I'd just take that blast, to be honest. Can't be bothered to do anything else. You know when you just give up on life. That awkward relatable moment, guys. Hey, what's happened to me? Oh, nothing. Oh, this reach is terrible, isn't it? Minus two reach. Oh, you can... S mm, I'm not going to say that, but... These RNG stats on the tools are a little bit of a pain. Oh, you got a special shirt, huh?
Oh, well, now he's burning. Special little guy. You're a special little guy, aren't you? I could have been saying that if I played Plant Daddy today, which almost happened. I was like, I need a chill game just to have in the background while talking. I was like, wow, I, I still have Plant Daddy installed from that mod. But then I settled on this instead, probably for the better, huh? We don't need to be thinking about Plant Daddy all the time. I mean, it's a pretty good little uh, casual plant growing simulator. It's just got a weird name. It's very modern. How do I just draw the most stereotypical demon character ever? Submit it to uh, Vivsy Pop. <laughs> Get it? Even though she actually, no, she draws pretty weird things, actually, not stereotypical, but. I don't know, people dunk on that, so I gotta dunk on it too. I gotta get some, score some points on the internet. You're a little menace, you know that? You're like Dennis. A bitch. Oh, for God's sake. Imagine if they added creepers today, you know, like in an update. It wasn't like a classic Minecraft thing. People would be fucking pissed. Imagine the internet reaction to them being like, okay guys, the next mob in 1.21 is the creeper. It blows up when it gets near and it can grief all your stuff. The Reddit outrage. Imagine. Oh, this low reach iron thing is so annoying. You can reforge with an anvil, but you got to get certain materials. So I might just have to make another one at the moment, which is a bit, a little bit annoying, you know. Well, you would think there'd be a spawner, wouldn't you? But it's just a lot gathered around. Hello. It's so dark when I take the torch away. I might change that. I think it's a little too dark, honestly. Uh, for like, I don't mind it at night time, but for caves. Um, lighting, yeah, let's change it to dark. Anything interesting happen? Uh, I wore that uh, maid outfit everyone was talking about for two seconds, yeah. Just very quickly flashed the camera, so sorry, you missed it. Yeah, you can't see it on the VOD either. Just, uh, it got deleted. Just that section. So, yeah. There you go. Well, I did that now, so that's good. No more jokes about that forever. Hmm... Listen to this in a car with kind of low volume. Is it a bit loud? It's funny because when I record, uh, the audio is so quiet. I have to boost it up so much in DaVinci. But when I stream, <coughs> when I stream, it seems to be the sort of level it's meant to be. So I don't really get it. But now it might be louder because I've overcorrected, right? I don't know. Is my British voice a bit loud for you? Or we could do cry about it. Oh, Jim Allen is here. Bunch of wusses these days, back in my day. We just got on with it, you know. We used to make steel in this country. Oh, God. Holy moly. Don't you want to bite the tofu clouds? I've never had tofu, but I do kind of want to bite them, yes. I do want a little munch, I admit. A little snack. A little taste. A little chew. A little nourishment. 
Here's Vivzy Pop. Oh, don't even start on that. <laughs> Made both of those. Oh. Have you watched Geordie Shaw? No. <laughs> Definitely not. I'm so sick of my keypad. The wrist part will not stay stuck in, so my wrist is constantly sliding down. Um, I'm massaging it now. Try and get it sticky in. I'm going to have to find some super glue because all the super glue I had has dried up and it won't come out. Uh, I'm going to have to get some super glue and try and glue it back on. Or get a new one because I've had this for like nine years because my sister gave it to me as a birthday present. And it's still working except for this wrist part, this soft part. It's pretty impressive, but... Boxing would love has been hotel. Mm. He'd like Serpentius. Serpentius? Serpentius? Is that Serpentius? 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 Oh, however you say it. He'd like him. Uh, for sure. It is, that's, that's kind of like try hard villain, but actually not very good at it, kind of thing. Uh, yeah, see, this is awful with this, like, sorting right now, but I really don't want to deal with it on stream. I'd rather just do it off stream. Voxen sounds like a name. Well, there's a character called Vox, isn't there? So, Voxen, Vox. It certainly wasn't based on that. Voxen comes from Nova, but... Why definitely not? Well, Geordie Shaw, I don't think it's my kind of show. <laughs> like, the only way is Essex isn't my kind of show. Or... Serpent, like Serpent, yeah. I thought it was alright, Has Been Hotel. It's better than Hell of a Boss Season 2. I only watched Hell of a Boss Season 1 because in the pilot, uh, Brock Baker was in it as um, Stoas. And I've been following, I've been watching him for years and years on YouTube. So I saw he was on the pilot. I was like, oh, I checked out. Then he got replaced afterwards because they went in a different direction with the character. But So I kept watching it. And season one of Hell of a Boss was all right, I think. Yeah, it was all right. Uh, but season two is such a drop off. I can't believe how much shitter it got. <laughs> Husband Hotel is a lot better, I think, than Hell of a Boss. Better characters. Serial, not episodic, so it flows a lot better. It's a bit rushed, the pacing, but... It's not mine, I was just curious, yeah. Uh, are they really, really bad or kind of good? I think the Has Been Hotel songs are quite good on the whole. The Hell of a Boss songs are more hit and miss for sure. I don't know. I know there was drama about it, but I honestly don't give a shit about the drama or any of that. I'm not fucking going on Twitter. I'm not... I'm not here. To, I can't. I can't be a bleeding heart about everything that exists. So, I just watched it as a show that existed, and I thought it was all right. Definitely not for everyone. Also, there is a lot of. <laughs> there's there's a lot of uh, you know <laughs> naughty stuff, <laughs> which I'm not always a big fan of. Uh, the swearing thing, I'll be honest, I know a lot of the memes is that they're always swearing, and sometimes I think they do just stick swear words in there, where it's like curse words, swear words, whatever you want to say, for like, it just doesn't have any impact, because it's just kind of thrown in there, 
I'm like, you don't need, I know they're in hell, but you don't need to put a fuck in every sentence, right? Kind of loses its impact. Um, but I don't think it's as bad as some people make it out to be. But that's also probably because I think people pearl clutch a little bit about cursing, cussing in America more so than somewhere like here or Australia or something where we say things a lot more freely. Like swears. I think if you ask people in like this country or Australia, it'd be a bit a bit more like eh. Uh, I don't swear in my videos very much at all because I don't feel the need to. For one, I, I only swear if it like it works for the joke, and so that doesn't happen very often. Like like a proper swear, like fuck. I do it more in streams because I'm talking casually, but in a video, I'm just it doesn't really come to me to say that very often. What? Oh, you're approaching me, huh? What, what do you want? Do you want some food, buddy? Giant Gekator, hello. Hey. Hi. Oh, yes. Good day to you too, sir. <laughs> That's a long tail you have there, sir. Ah, yes. I see you know your jump height well. Well, I guess that's a mount you can get. I have no idea how to get it, but... You're just gonna live outside now. You can be my unofficial pet. It's always a very random assortment. Yeah, it feels a bit... The one that always springs to mind is when... Um, uh, one of the bad guys says she's like... Uh, Velvet, yeah. She says um, something like... Yeah, Vox is like, oh, it seems you've got everything under control here. And she's like, of course I do. Fuck you. Why did she say fuck you there? Like, they're being cordial. There's no reason for her to say fuck you in the middle of that sentence. She's like, of course I do. Fuck you. Go tend to the piss baby. I'm like, why did she just add a fuck you in there for no reason? <laughs> it's just, like, unnecessary. I'm not saying a character... She's uncouth, that character. Her whole point is that she's very disrespectful, I know. But it didn't, f f it didn't feel very natural. It felt kind of like just thrown in. Can you ride it? Well, I think you're supposed to be able to, but you need to do some kind of training or and capturing or get a big, get a massive saddle. Oh, oh, you having a little poo? Anyway, that really distracted me from what I was trying to do here. God damn it, Vivzy Pop, you've done it again. Uh, oh, we should check out the town a bit more. There's probably some good stuff in here. And we can see some more villager names. See what friendly fellows there are here. Ah. Uh. What is the charge? Eating a meal? Uh, nothing in here. I need to steal your stuff. Must, some of you must have some good stuff. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Oh, what are these for? Pews? Stealing from a church? Yeah, you better believe it. What is this? Cross necklace. <laughs> Increases the length of invincibility after taking damage. Okay, well, I don't have anything right now, so. Oh, yes, I am a religion. It's just straight up a cross. It's quite funny. <laughs> it's not like a Minecraftified. It's just like, eh, no, it, it's a cross. Oh, I see you've got a cave entrance where you put your... Uh... Yeah, well, we better not talk about it. This is going to be empty as well. Ah, okay. Feathers, pretty nice. Oh, so spooky. 
Oh, it's so spooky. Uh, that's fine. Burning. Yeah, I need to try and do Cluckeria. Maybe uh, whenever I can. And record it on the phone. Because I need to introduce Lance Mooney to the world. You know? Lance Mooney's been waiting for a while to come in. And he keeps getting... Hmm. He keeps getting clucked by things happening. Actually, speaking of clucked, I should check the Discord. Oh no, that's the same. The ambience seems really loud to me sometimes. I don't I don't want my ambience to be right in my ears. Or ear. Cause I have to listen with one headphone because otherwise I can't hear myself speak. That's all done. Lance is definitely based on something, I'll say that much. Uh, he's very much based on something from another video of mine. the Mooney part of the name that's more to do with what it's about, though. Oh, someone's dwelling underground here. Hey. Who's the cave dweller, then? Michael? Michael? Michael, are you here? Oh, Ron. It's always going to be Michael. We got a Ron here. Why is everybody unemployed? I guess there's none of those stations around, but. My fellow, what are you doing here? Look at this. This can't be good living conditions for you. Cluck around and find out. Mm hmm. I like how in the Cluckeria intro, because obviously I tried playing it. Oh, yay, a waystone. It's Hacksuzuhu. 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 Yeah, in the intro, it just starts with your character already knowing Papa and like agreeing to stuff, like the restaurant setting it up. It's it's just so sudden. It's like, oh yeah, no, this is already happening, and then it goes like, oh, but there's it's meant to be like easy because there's no competition, but then competition suddenly starts. I was like, how the hell does Lance Mooney already know Papa? What's the law here? God damn it, flip line. I'm going to have to... Oh, God. I have to deal with that now. Oh, my... I didn't realise this was here. We got big cave. Big, big cave. This is vast... Hello down there. I say, what's today? Jump scared me with that Michael. <laughs> I was actually referencing, but I don't know if anyone would get the reference. It wasn't particularly overt. Hey. Yeah, let's explore. But carefully, you know. Remember, everyone. You must explore carefully. And safely. And never go out of your depth. That's another character. I'm referring to another character I'm going to do there. I shouldn't... I don't want to say her name yet, either. Oh, my God. What? Okay, she'll... How do you not have iron? Because we've been talking about fucking has-been hotel and shit. <laughs> and also there's modded ores everywhere. 
instead of iron. Hello? Wait, what the f- There's a little one! No, it was, um, don't hug me, I'm scared. But, uh, this is the story of Michael. And he lived on his own underground. And he lived on his own underground. There's a lot more iron in this cave, though, than anywhere else I've seen so far. It's just... Oh, what... Oh, it's a witch! Don't be shy. Ah. I'm gonna knock you off the edge. <laughs> uh, you fool. Didn't your mother tell you to never stand close to edges if you're a skeleton? Hey, what is this strange being? Hi. Oh, Hills Creeper. You okay? You passive? You, you, you good? Oh, I don't know. Hey, your personal space, please. You know what I'm saying? Well, you seem alright. You're going a bit mental there, but... I don't know, it hasn't attacked me. So why attack it? A lush cave. Yeah, we end up finding one of those pretty quickly, but I haven't gone in caves enough, especially not in a deep one like this, or a wide one, I guess. Axolotls win. Ah! Skinner and his crazy explanations. Bye-bye. Oh, this is just like what I was doing in Dark Souls the other day. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> I was knocking all the skeletons and the catacombs down into the pit. Oh, that thing ran out. Oh, what is that? Okay, i got to get out of it. And then I got to the bottom of the pit and realized I had to fight all the skeletons I'd knocked down there. <laughs> I was like, oh, the consequences of my actions. Vibes and Gertrude related. Uh, no, I didn't make them with that in mind. It'd be... I could do that. Might be a fun thing to add in to the lore, but I don't know yet. Oh my god, it's a Scottish. No, 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 we can't be doing with that. If he finds out I'm English, he's gonna... Oh, God. He's gonna go into a rampage. You know what these Scots are like. I've never seen a zombie with bagpipes. That's, that's the first for me, I have to say. Ooh, ghost. I have seen that. Oh, help me, Gecko. Help. Do something. No, okay. Uh All right, it is horrendously not sorted chests still, but that's the way I roll chaos. I mean it's really not. I like organizing things, but you know. But it's more fun if you say you're chaotic. Hey, this is an epic iron sword. 
with some. Oh, I don't give a shit. Oh, that's too close. I mean, what was he going to do? Threateningly just play music at me until I die? I in brew. Haggis. And other Scottish stereotypes. There's no Scottish people watching the stream right now, are there? Look at all this. It's all lit up. I need one of those uh, obsidian portal. Oh, there's one. Look, those always have a few little like useful star bits in them. Did they say instruments are dangerous early on the stream? That's true. Yeah. Could have blown me. All right, see you later. They're all dying out there. I need to see this. No, you died too early. I wanted to watch the suffering. Flesh. Oh, there's a cave right here. Well, I'll be. Iron was inside our hearts all along. Well, it was in our blood, isn't it? Like Magneto when he kills a guy because he's got his iron in his blood, but he never does it again. Because he just that guy had so much iron in his blood, he was able to fucking pull it out of him. What's that all about? Some... Oh, uh, that's superhero f things for you. I'm not anti-superhero things. I'm not like, <laughs> oh, I never liked superhero movies. Yeah, they're always shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, I always said Marvel was shit. Now everyone agrees with me. <laughs> I've, I've never liked them. Yeah, it's for kids. <laughs> Mist. You trying to get into my home? My little homey home. Uh, well, I got some more. I, I think I had some more as well here, didn't I? Yay! We got a fair bit now. You see? Oh, this sticky... God damn it. You can't rush these things. Let's get off pig. I'm power level 215 for whatever that means. What does that mean? That's just a number. You know, are we gonna? Are we really referencing such old things? Am I gonna get to 900? Is it? Was that the meme? Over 900? Over 900? No, thousand. Over 9,000. Am I gonna get to 9,000? Anime. Why didn't you like it? Wait, what did I say? I completely forgot what I said that that's a response to. I <laughs> went to grab a popsicle I missed and I missed again. That's what my brain just did with uh, with my memories. Anybody ever like try and like go to grab something? Which I guess you basically just did, but like you miss and you hit your hand on like the surface of whatever it is. I literally talked about how I do that. And right after I did it, I went to put my hand in the fridge and it, 
I hit the shelf of the fridge between my fingers. Like, right after I said I was going to do it. Why didn't you like it? No, no, I was joking. I mean, I just like good movies. If it's a good one. Like the Batman. That was really good. Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3 I saw as well. was pretty good. Uh, a lot of the superhero movies I just think are really, like, corporate, generic, you know... By the numbers, obviously, but there obviously has been some good ones. I was kind of making fun of the sort of movie snob who's like, yeah, bro, yeah, Martin Scorsese, even though Martin Scorsese has good points, but, but it's just like, yeah, yeah, they'll they suck, man. I only watch high art, and then they've watched like two movies that year, and one of them is Oppenheimer. Uh, we need a helmet as well and boots. I'm keeping my rubber ring though, look. It's for armor. I mean, that's not great really, but how could I not? It's epic. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> it's going to be destroyed, so... Well, I mean, I got three for more swimming, right? If I want to use it for actual swimming, so... This one has got a bit of extra health. This one is less durability. Uh, what can you do? RNG strikes again. What animes have you watched and actually enjoyed? Cowboy Bebop. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I liked both of those, especially Cowboy Bebop quite a lot. Uh, just normy stuff. Akira. That was the first thing, uh, first anime I watched, the movie. And Ghost in the Shell movie. Eh, it was, I was a bit air on that one. And then I started watching one called Roroni Kenshin. I think the manga author of that has turned out to be horrible, but Roroni Kenshin. Uh, terrible name for me to say with my, with my um, soft R's, but... And then stopped because I was watching it with my girlfriend at the time and then we broke up. So. <laughs> That's it though. I was watching those at a time because I was in the KH13 Kingdom Hearts Discord server and everyone was talking about anime all the time and I didn't know what, I didn't know what everyone was going on about. So I was like, well, maybe I should watch some of these animes. And I can be more integrated into the community here, yes. And then I watched those four, kind of five things, and then, and then stopped. <laughs> I didn't anymore. You know when you ask, you say, "Hey guys, any anime recommendations?" You know when you do that. Yeah, I did that, and that was quite something. We got it whittled down to eight, and I watched four, and part of five of them. And that's it. Only watched Death Note. Persona 5. I can... You know when there's a game... There's like a game or a thing in general, I guess, but... And you just like... You know you would never like it. In a million years, you would never like that thing. That's Persona to me. <laughs> oh, these guys are still fucked up, I see. Or is this a different one? Let's check the names. No, this is a... Wait. But Victor was there, wasn't it? No, I think it's a different one, actually. How do you guys keep doing this? Oh, my God. hate movie snobs. I hate snobs in general. <laughs> well, I don't hate people, you know, for no reason. But like, I do not uh, get on too well with people who are really snobbish, let's say. You know, not that I'm like, oh, just switch your brain off and enjoy things, bro. You know, never criticize anything, bro. Everything's great. And I'm not like that, but... I can't be bothered to think too much, too deeply about these things, right? I'm just like, did I enjoy it? Yes. This is why I do a gameplay YouTube channel. And I'm way more enjoying it than my other channel, where there was some opinion videos and stuff. Because I don't give a fuck about giving my opinions in a video format. Sure, we can talk about it on stream, because we're chatting. But I'm not going to write a video about, oh, this is why I think this is actually overrated, and you shouldn't actually like it. 
<sighs> okay, you know. Platinum's on every single Persona 5 game except Tactica. The fact that there's multiple Persona 5 games is confusing me already. Multiple versions, I guess? Or like spin-offs? I don't know. I was looking at Dragon's Dogma 2 stuff recently. So that seems like an interesting... I don't really know much about the first game at all, but... Um, I liked the... Uh, idea of like being able to pick up party members that are other people's player generated ones and sort of finding them. I also liked that the night times were actually dark from what I saw in the stream. Like it looked really hard to see without a torch. I was like that's good. Not enough games. Games are mostly scared to have dark night times because the player base will be uh, sad. So whenever I can mod in dark night times like I have with this or with Skyrim I like to do it because I like it to feel more dangerous. Depends on the game. It needs to be the right kind of game, obviously. But you know, if you're playing a shooter and the night times are super dark, it might be a problem. Like Halo or something. But even the first Halo game, the nights were the nighttime levels were a little bit darker than anything they did since. Nitpicky, like a Twitter thread, yeah. Like Cinema Sins and all that, you know. I mean, that's different. Cinema Sins isn't like. I mean, they are definitely snobby. People go, oh, it's just a parody. Oh, it's just for jokes. Yeah, well, it's not funny. And. No, the guy's very snobby. I watched his other videos back in the day. He's a pretty snobby, kind of movie critic guy. He's not parodying anything when he is the thing he's supposedly parodying. They're just bad videos. They're just mass-produced bad videos. It doesn't matter if they're for parody or not. And it has... And it's just that kind of, like, you're trying to watch a movie and someone's just, like, nitpicking it constantly. Like, oh, God, shut the fuck up. I mean, there's sometimes plot holes which are a problem because they really stick out and you think, this is just taking me out of it. Like, this is just silly. And then there's some things which are just nitpicks. It all comes down to your own personal opinion. What's what though, doesn't it? So what bothers you and what doesn't? Where your line is. Also, however, those kind of channels on YouTube are still not, like, they're not the worst. Uh, no, there's worse channels. Drama channels are probably my least favorite. Like, um, what's his name? Chicken Chris, Turkey Tom. Oh, can't stand people like that with their stupid little PNG avatar on the side with frowning and going like a, huh. Yeah, this is, this guy really sucks, guys. Oh, I used to be a fan of him and now I'm not anymore. Oh, God, just little whiners. It's just negative. It's so, like, that kind of thing is so negative. It's just the environment of that kind of channel. All they do is complain about shit. If your channel is just complaining about stuff, how, I just don't understand how that can be fun to do. Right? Maybe sometimes they'll, like, make a positive video about something they like, but... Listen, I'm British. I love complaining, but... To make that your whole thing just sounds miserable. Original Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal, Persona 5 Royal PS5 version of Rhythm Game thing and beat him up type of spin-off, yeah. I mean, I'm one to- oh, we found another one, everyone. I'm one to talk because, uh... My... YouTube presence is mostly known for the Kingdom Hearts series, and that's a bit of a cringy little series sometimes, but... I kind of just stumbled into that. I never intended to be a Kingdom Hearts channel on my other channel. It just kind of happened. You know, when something's doing really well, so you keep doing it. And then it kind of gets... You can't move away from it, so you have to start a new channel. And then here we are. 
There's a lot of stuff in these chests. I will have a look at that scythe in a second. Which is now... Now, soul render. Unique effect soul rend. Why did I find this in a villager chest? Chance on a hit to inflict stacking weakening effects. Consume more stacks. Oh, what are you talking about stacks? From surrounding foes, damaging them, healing you relative to the stacks. Right, so some RPG bullshit. Okay. Well, it's cool. We can give it a whirl. I mean, scythes are terrible weapons, really. They're farming tools, not weapons, but... Some people complain just to hear themselves talk. Yeah. I think almost any YouTuber has some kind of ego to a degree to be able to like be to be doing this, but some of them take it to the narcissistic extreme. I'm not also saying like I hate all commentary channels like Moist Critical or something. I don't like his commentary videos. I don't watch them. I watch his videos on other stuff. That he does, like his sort of silly videos. I much prefer those. He doesn't do them very much anymore, sadly. Um, I don't watch his commentary videos. Unless it's something I really want to see about. But but it's the, it's the complainy sort of low effort whiny ch channels that I really don't like. Whoa, that's just darkness. Why was I doing that? I think we've probably gathered enough stuff from here. Oh, never mind. I <laughs> changed my mind. There's more. Yes, what's that? Black Lotus. Cool. Emits strong magical vibes. I'm getting some real magical vibes from this. Magical vibes. Imagine vibes as a magical, like, magic girl. You ever seen that anime thing? The magic, magical girl anime kind of trope? Uh, vibes could probably pull that off, actually. Drama channels create problems to complain about to gain a sense of community, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And they were talking about this on a stream that I watched actually recently. Because it was like drama in that community. But really, it was like, a, it was obviously a heap of nothing. It was a mountain out of a molehill, as usual. But like a drama guy, someone who wants to be a bit of a keem star for that community. Oh, <laughs> there we go. He turns up. Uh sort of makes it into a bigger thing, spins it into a bigger thing, and suddenly it's like everyone's fighting and arguing because the audiences are fighting. It's like the two people who had the disagreement, if you sat them down, like you sat them down with a couple of drinks, you know, if they like that, and they just chatted to each other, just talked to each other, they'd probably get on just fine, right? Because it wasn't a, it was a disagreement about a video game. So like they'd probably, they'd probably like, oh yeah, you know, they'd just joke around and it'd be fine. They might still disagree, but it wouldn't be a problem. But because it's on the internet, and because there's communities, and because there's a drama channel talking about it, it turns into a massive thing. But if you just sat the people down, it wouldn't be anything. You know, so that's why it's just always best to just uh, not even bother with that stuff, honestly. Because it's, it's just nothing. It's hot air. I need to light up the area around me a bit more, don't I? If I want these monsters to stop... Keemstar is a real villain. Yeah, I mean, he found something that works. And I don't... I don't think he's the brightest bulb either that, or he's just dangerous. I think he's dangerously dumb, but either that or he's... Uh, he knows what he's doing. Not quite my tempo, that's for sure. And yeah, it's definitely too old to be acting like that. Should know better, but a lot of people don't really grow up in that way. Oh, good lord, look at all this. 
already have a cross necklace. Look how much bread I've got. <laughs> I've just been looting a lot today, that's the problem, but... Do, do, do. Yeah, my favourite channels are usually pretty chill channels. Or if they're not chill, if they're a bit more excitable or whatever. Or energetic, then it's it's not in a sort of irritating way, right? It's not in a what's up guys kind of way. Can't deal with that. Matt. Have an idea for art vibes and the evil forces. Who would be the evil forces? Mm. Boyd Wainwright. <laughs> A bunch of Boyd Wainwrights. Yeah, see, I, I acting dumb, I can always have money from it. Well, it's just that um, YouTube drama channel. Two YouTubers, like throw a tweet at each other and he plays up and turns into a massive thing. Uh, yeah, some people, uh, that's the thing, some people know what they're doing. But they do it because they get paid for it. So, if people just didn't watch, then it would be fine, but they do. What pack is this? Prominence. Prominence 2. I think it Actually says oh, I found it. Killed Boyd with hammers. I mean, we could always put him in the Where's Bella room like Jack Bunch and then disable the game being able to take him out. Just saying, the option is there. I mean, we should try this soul render out. Oh, there we go. That's something to test on. Don't know how I activate the thing. Oh my god. Uh, on right click. I think I did that during that. I seem to do it. Yeah. Alt to view sockets. Okay, buddy. Am I playing Minecraft here or World of Warcraft? <laughs> Oh god, look at my character with this as well. It's a strange vibe, isn't it? Uh, you know, cross necklace, floaty pool, rubber ring, and then a Dark Souls edgy scythe. It's interesting. Certainly a uh, stance, though. Middle-aged instigator is what he is. I already did the fourth art with Vox and my wrist hurts. It's 1pm and my payment is listening to silly British boy. You must be listening to someone other than me then. It's kind of fitting for Nikocado Avocado. Acting dumb to get rich. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, that's uh, another case of it right there. Like... Unfortunately, it does work, but it also can cause problems. Evidently, in his case, for sure. Uh, he was losing weight, wasn't he? But has it gone like. Has he relapsed? He'll lose weight when it gets some views, and he'll gain weight when that gets some views, I guess, right? I don't know what kind of person watches him, like, do that again and again and gets the sick enjoyment out of it. Like, what, what's wrong with you at that point? Is this Sinner Voxen? Oh god, I gotta see this. What, did he post it or did he just do it? <laughs> You're f cranking these out fast, I gotta say.
And they're good. They're very good as well. <laughs> they're not like just hastily done. They actually look really good. Oh, this wrist thing is still falling off. Um, I'm getting so distracted again. Oh, I need to get that stuff again, don't I? Oh, I need to dump some of this. Oh, I keep these in here because it's useful to have. Same with the axe. Ultimately, I just try and avoid anything that could be categorized as discourse whatsoever. And it's just far more pleasing that way. Hello, cow. Feeders, of course. I don't know what's going on with him, but I imagine I'm losing a bit of weight and I'm relapsing and getting lots of views, so yeah. Money! Share it, fair it, don't take a slice of my pie. <laughs> I love doing little platforming hops on Minecraft. Oh, I could turn this into a YouTube short. We just gotta steal some uh, posts from Tumblr or something, put this in the background. Then we're making bank. Recently I've been given recommendations on YouTube a lot. For um, like, you know, posts when it shows people's community posts that you don't even follow. Subscribe. You're not subscribe to them, but it shows you their posts because they're doing well. And it's just someone's taking a screenshot from some other website of someone. And it's captioned with like, follow me for more great content. I'm like, what the fuck is the great content? You're just taking pictures of things. Oh, it's a state. It's an absolute state. Why am I even on this platform? Because it's better than Twitch, but... <laughs> Somehow. Oh, don't start again, game. Come on now. Oh, there we go. I think maybe he was engaging with people who was into death feederism. Easy money too. But why did you like watch him? Like I don't I don't really understand what the appeal is of that kind of thing. We're back in this tower again. What's that? Iron Chakram. Oh, a weapon. Mana berries. Okay. I don't know what half this stuff is. Well, more than a half. That's the thing when you play mod packs. You end up with chests full of unknown items. But we have to just slowly learn. Because I can't just know everything at once. i just got to slowly start to understand. I can, why am I standing on that? Good thing I didn't decide to be up here. Frolicking through the fields. Over frothed. Over frothed. Over frothed. Over frothed. I can say it now, see? Only if I very intentionally say the word frothed. On this platform because you're dope. Well, oh, maybe. I just try and do what I think is right for me. Who's that Glucosa guy on Discord and how we got the same name? Is it you with two accounts? Doing a little little tricky, little tricksy? Or is it actually somebody who's somehow the same?
say Mockeria again. Mocker. 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 Mockeria. Mockeria. Mocker. Mocker. Mocha. It's just British, isn't it? Mocha. Hey, you want some mocha, mate? You want some fucking mocha? I'm gonna mock your fucking head off. Ah, what a mystery. It's time to mock a rear. Let's mock these rears, guys. Come on. Who's with me? I'm going to mock some rears today, let me tell you. Like, I'm um, so mix a lot. Moxing the flat butt. Moxing? Mocking the flat butts. Kind of watching something horrible happen. You can't look away. You're morbidly curious. I guess so. I'm morbidly curious about um, cave exploring and squeezing through tiny narrow passages. Because I hate it. I hate the idea of it. <sighs> when I was watching like videos on cave disasters, as they were calling it, like John Jones, the most famous one. Oh, I was I started feeling sick, but as I watched more and more of it, I got used to it. But then I started watching these two guys who actually uh, go through and record it and go through the caves and squeeze into the gaps. And he has to turn back because it's getting too narrow, and his head's scraping along the thing. I'm like, oh, it's awful, but I I I also kind of enjoy watching it. Also, I was interested to see the caves. Like to see all the different formations and all the cool stuff. But there was cool stuff in the caves. You won't catch me squeezing through anything though. Stooping down is enough for me, let me tell you. Oh, look! There will be a pirate ship. ASMR is over there. Oh, we could take a boat over. I know I don't need a boat, but I'm going to just store that away. Lovely Java edition. Da <laughs> Okay, wait, is it? Is it getting dark now? Fuck. <sighs> Why does the night time have to exist? I have to sleep first. I don't want to fight some pirates in the dead of night. They might turn into skeletons. Do you play any horror games? Uh, I've only played like the most kind of like not that horrible horror games, right? Like Resident Evil, like action horror sort of games more. Played some Resident Evil stuff. Um, oh, I keep meaning to play Little Nightmares. I have it, but I haven't played it yet. I don't think I've played any true horror games. Oh, I played, <laughs> remember old Slender back in the day? Played that when I was younger because my friend at school was like, hey, you should play this. But that is not very horror. I mean, it was pretty good at the suspense and stuff, uh, admittedly. It's just obviously looks kind of silly now, but. Oh, my eyes. I'm seeing all sorts of colors that don't exist. 
How are you still alive? Or how am I still alive? I don't know, but... I mean, it's only been... Three hours, three and a half hours, right? Oh, I remember back in the day when I used to stream on Twitch. Back in the heyday. I'd be able to go on for five hours and I'd be going on to like 2am. I can't do that anymore, that's for sure, but... Or not that late. Outlast. I think I saw a bit of Outlast on stream before. I don't know, for me it's more like I get bored if it's... If I'm not actively doing enough. That's why I liked Resident Evil, because I was shooting things. <laughs> but... If I'm just kind of walking around and running... I'm a little more... Mm, unsure about it. I really do like horror themes, though. Like, being put into things that maybe aren't necessarily just a horror game, like Dark Souls. You know, but it's got a lot of creepy things, but it's not a horror game. Uh, until Dawn. Oh, I <laughs> got mentioned twice. I don't know. I can't... I've heard of Until Dawn, but I cannot remember anything about it. Uh, get rid of this stone one. Well, I mean, I should use that up, actually, at some point. Did you play Doom? Yeah, yeah, I do like Doom. 2016 Doom was the one that first interested me. played that. And then I was hyped for Doom Eternal. I've only played Eternal once, though. I do need to replay it. I didn't like it as much as 2016 for some reason. Uh, and then I, I played the old Doom games at some point. I can't remember when I first did that, but... Original Doom. Big fan of Original Doom. Uh, Doom 2, not as big fan of that as Doom 1. Uh, Doom 64. Now that you can play that and not on Nintendo... That's really good. I actually quite liked 64. I haven't played Doom 3. I know that one's a little bit different. Kanito Pet? What is that? Uh, Strahd? Don't know if that's the right pronunciation, but hello. Um, Outlast Resident Evil 7 currently doing Resident Evil 8 VR mode oh that's got to be something blimey I have seen Resident Evil 8 playthroughs there's one main one that I watched uh, the whole thing of everywhere where I am what? Have you played any of the... Oh, he's that person. Played any of the Assassin's Creed? Yeah, I played... Uh, Assassin's Creed 1. Way back in the day when I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Way back. Oh, 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 back in the day, you know. Long time ago that was. But... And I don't think I finished it. I got right to the end and I never finished it. Assassin's Creed 1. Never played 2 or any of the extra ones like Brotherhood. Uh, three, I didn't even get past, I didn't even get to Connor on three. I feel like he plays Haytham for quite a while, but I didn't even get to Connor in that. Uh, and I played some Black Flag as well. I did like the ship stuff in it. That's it, though. I haven't played anything since that. Like, I could never get into any of them. They really weren't, they just didn't grab me very much. I'm wasting the daylight here talking about games, but... Horror game? It kind of doxes you, but eh. <laughs> what? I mean, it sounds horrible. Have you played Elden Ring? Yes. And I'm very excited for the DLC, that's for sure. Shadow of the Earth Tree. 
I need to do a second playthrough of Elden Ring, but it's just so much. It's such a big game. It's so much investment. I know you could sort of blaze through the main stuff, but I'd like to play it properly for a second playthrough. I tried to do a second playthrough before, but I tried to do magic. You know, like the blue magic. I just didn't like it very much, so I, I just couldn't get into the magic stuff. I might be able to get into incantation stuff, though, like, you know, faith build stuff, because I liked that in Dark Souls 1 when I've done it recently. Resident Evil 8 VR mode's amazing, especially against to see Lady Dimitrescu. That's the guy says. How are you supposed to say that? Because I remember that the big guy in the game says Dimitrescu. But I don't know if you actually meant to say it like that. She's a tall motherfucker. She sure is. Yeah, everyone was simping over her. I remember that. Every YouTube video had her in the thumbnail. <laughs> and she's only just like the first boss. Big mommy. Yeah, I don't know. Assassin's Creed was just kind of like... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I didn't really care for the stealth mechanics of it. I didn't... Just nothing about it stood out to me. Um, when it comes to stealth, Dishonored is my jam. Dishonored 1 is one of, maybe one of my top 10 games. Dishonored 2 I really need to replay. I haven't even played it on PC yet. I haven't played it since I played it on Xbox. Now oh, look at these guys. Oh, I remember this. Shit, these guys are pretty fucking wild. They're riding dolphins. They actually are skeleton pirates and they're riding dolphins. Oh, there's more of them. Okay. This is a problem. What? I have found these on mod pack before, back when I used to stream on Twitch. And they annihilated me. Instantly. Oh, can't get off your dolphins, huh? Okay, but you can jump onto land. Feel a bit bad for the dolphin. Oh, see the health. Oh, they got off. They got off the dolphins, or one of them did, I think. Yeah. Oh, they got sixty health. No, 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 no. That's not happening. Okay, uh, abort, abort. Abandoned ship, literally. Can you do some funky stuff with a window search and command prompt? Oh, I don't, that is horrible. I do not like that. It turns off your monitor. Feels like it's stepping outside of its fucking allowances there. Trying to do real Vox and Plush, like actually make one. Uh, I don't know. This is kind of crazy. I've got 3,000 subscribers. Like, it's kind of crazy that people have been making art and stuff for a channel with 3,000. It feels like I'm like, I don't deserve any of that. <laughs> you see, if I had like uh, 30,000, maybe, but. Like a YouTuber from that I've worked with a couple of times on my other channel, uh, he's he's got like I think he's got like fifty thousand now, Kingdom Hearts stuff. But he gets lots of fan art, and that makes sense because he's bigger, much bigger channel, and he's got a very kind of dedicated following. Pretty flowers. Yeah, the mod packs do add quite a lot of different types of flowers. Fireweed. Makes me think of the Harry Potter PS1 game. Fire seeds. 
All right, Harry, you're going to have to go get some fire seeds for me. I'm going to have a butter beer. Don't fall in the lava now, Harry. Everyone be simple for Lady D if everyone played the game in VR. Yeah, well, maybe even I'd start simping for her. Me, borderline asexual fucking demisexual whatever. Choose any of these. Pirate, fanatic, German, boy, soldier, vampire, go with traumas, or tall, slender man, beast who eats people. Of course I'm going to go with tall, slender man, beast who eats people. <laughs> Come on now. Sounds like a riot. Should probably be able to see where I'm going and eat some bread. That might be a good idea. I've just, I've eaten nothing but bread and coconuts. Am I complaining? No. Feed the beast mod pack. Might have some other same kind of mods. I think this is a forge pack, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it's this. I've played more on fabric packs recently, but... I like... Maybe like last year or the year before. But then this one's a forge pack, a back on gold forge. Makes sense for you too, because you're very creative. Ah, oh, thanks. Life and charms of characters. Well, I was saying earlier, the um, the characters is, is... I really do like... That's been one of the things that's really motivated... Oh, not this chasm again. Not the chasm has motivated me, because... On my previous channel... I was just talking about a series and like discussions and analysis, but I wasn't really making anything. I don't. I never felt like I was creating anything of my own. And like it was really, it just wore me down because I just felt like a mouthpiece for a franchise. I hated it. And yeah, obviously, what I'm creating now is still, you know, it's still in a Papa's game. It's still in a Sims game. It's not like I'm, I'm not an artist, right? Or I'm not writing stories. I don't have such an ego to think it's the same as that but like it's just given me a chance to be a little more creative because I'm playing games where you can add your own input to it and your own spin on it and not just sort of uh, passively watching a character do stuff which is why I like I'd like to do more games where I can do that kind of thing It doesn't have to be a game that you, where you can make a character. Like, Cooking Simulator is good as well because it's just a sandbox. Right, I can just control it. I mean, I could say, oh, the Cooking Simulator character is Voxen and then just do the Voxen voice if I wanted to. Even though you don't ever see them. But I got dried glue on my face. Whoops. I mean, this isn't like shading my old channel audience or whatever. I I went down that path, right? You know, I'm the one who decided to just... Because it was, it was successful. And at the time, it was my first YouTube channel, like, actually getting any views and stuff. So, of course, I was like... I just jumped on the bandwagon. I was like, well, it's getting views. I'm going to just keep doing this. And I, I tried to do other videos sometimes, but I didn't really know what to do. Um... Yeah, and I was doing all the things on that first YouTube channel, you know, when like a YouTuber, a new YouTuber, like they make YouTube posts all the time, be like, guys, here's my plans. I hit 1000 subscribers on that channel and I did like a, hey, thanks, thanks and future plans video. It's like, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that anymore because <laughs> it's like, stop, you don't talk about stuff in videos. You don't upload a video with your plans. You just fucking make the videos, right? Sure, you can talk about it on Discord, you can talk about it on streams or whatever, but that, that channel was just so naive and then it ended up slipping into that kind of just being known for one thing and not doing anything early enough to establish myself anywhere else. Like, sure, on this channel, the Papa's videos 
outperform the others by quite a margin. But the Sims videos still do as well as I would like. They do quite well, considering. You know, especially 1 and 3. Uh, episode 3 did pretty nicely. Like, if it gets a 1,000 views for a channel with 3,000 subs, I think that's pretty good, honestly. So it's not stopping me from like, oh, I can only make Papa's videos, because it's like... They're both gameplay videos, right? They're just different games, but they're still gameplay videos. They're still the same genre. Whereas my other channel was not known for gameplay stuff, so I did, if I did gameplay videos there, which I tried to do, uh, it would just die and it would just fail immediately. So that's the thing, if you've got something you can sort of make your own, it really helps. Cool game has forgotten, dude stop. Never heard of that. Just ate some tackies and it was great. I'm going to get roasted for how I said that probably now. Imagine not having tackies in Britain. Couldn't be me. Yeah. Are they spicy things? Sims 4 with extreme violence mod. Sims 4, I don't have... Uh, I mean, I have a free copy of it I got, right? On the Epic Games Store. And it's free on EA Games, but... I just got the last four expansions for The Sims 3 recently, because they're on sale. So I have all The Sims 3 expansions. And I like The Sims 3 more as a game than I do 4. So it's like, there's just no reason for me to play for Sims 4. I'd have to buy expansions to bring it up to the same level as feature, of features as The Sims 3. And then that would be so much money because they don't go on sale as much as the Sims 3 ones do, like 4 as much. And there's more of them, because EA. So it's kind of like, EA, why would I want to play your new Sim, your newer, I mean, say new, it's 10 years old now, Sims 4. Why would I want to play your newer Sims game when I'd have to pay again to get all the features I already have, pretty much, in 3? Other than some of the stuff 4 does well, like the building, the house building stuff it does pretty well I think and um, like the the clubs stuff that I saw where you can like group up sims and then they sort of go out and do an activity that seemed quite cool uh, when I saw some gameplay of that I was like oh that's actually a pretty cool feature and the more multitasking and stuff that seemed pretty cool as well but then I saw stuff like Maybe this has changed now, but they only had like three traits. You could only put three traits on them at one point. I was like, what? Instead of five, like in The Sims 3. I was like, you can't define a person to just three things. The customization wasn't as good. And I have to say, like the open world nature of Sims 3 causes problems, definitely, with how it runs and a lot of lots being rabbit holes and you can't see inside them. Definitely a shame. But would I want to deal with the Sims 4 loading screens when I flick between my characters to see what's going on? I wouldn't be able to flick between my characters because there'd be loading screens all the time if they're in different places. That would really annoy me, especially if we're trying to make videos. So, And that way the Sims 3 works a lot better. Because I can just see what Zablaoblaw's doing, and I can quickly switch back and see what Voxen's doing, and see what Vibes is doing, and there's no loading screens. It's just a shame if what they're doing is inside a, a lot that I can't see inside. Zablaoblaw is a private investigator, though, so I should be able to watch Zablaoblaw do, do stuff quite a lot.
Red 40 spicy chip. What? Red 40, is that like a food colouring? Sour lemon flavoured, huh? Hmm. I've gone full circle from lemon coke to lemon takis. Takis, I don't know. <laughs> Ah, uh, who's your favorite peppers I see you've made? Oh, Voxen. It's the first idea I had because it was the one closest to my own, like... It's just... That was the, like, most natural voice as well. I can slip into his voice very easily. Because it's just my voice going villainy, exaggerated, so... It's a food colour and it's illegal in other countries, including the UK, except for the US already. <laughs> I see. Uh, it's one of those. Well, that pirate ship was a bust, wasn't it? Why are there so many craters? Everywhere. Look at this, like, natural bridge. Maybe it's probably not natural, actually. Something there. Um... Hmm. 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 You can see what this is. Yeah, I tr I had lemon coke. Uh, limited time thing the other day. It was not very good. I do like I like all of course all my characters are my my darlings. I couldn't rank them that's for sure but uh Foxen is you know my number one. No vanilla coke's great. I mean it's not amazing actually it's just coke with a slight slight hint of vanilla it's it's not that crazy but I do like it. As much as it's a meme to be like, no, it's the best thing ever. Yeah, I'm so weird. I'm a hipster. I like things other people don't. And it's like, well, no, I mean, it's nice. but Legal in Mexico too, because that's where they're from. Uh... I don't know. I don't think I'm... I mean, if you're asking people generally, I'm sure someone would. Rate your OCs. I'm just probably not the person to ask because I don't know what to say most of the time. Oh, that's. That's something. I gotta actually think about. How many people I'm adding into the Sims 3 house that I've got right now, and who I am adding. Because the way I want to do. Oh, this place is. Oh, God, look at this. Yeah, go down there. Well. Uh, let's go down there. <laughs> Where was I actually trying to go? Oh, that. Yeah, no, that's boring. Fine, let's have a look into that nether cave looking thing. Mint Coke? What? I haven't heard of that. Household limit. Technically eight. With the mods I've got, I could actually have more than eight. <laughs> I don't think it'd be a good idea to do that. Because... <laughs> uh, I don't know how well it would run. It would probably get more and more problems. And it would be extremely chaotic. But my sort of idea was we're in Sunset Valley right now. That's season one. 
And then when season one ends, season two will start. It might, you know, it might be a gap until it starts, but. And I'll be in a different town for the season two, like uh, Bridgeport or something. And it'll focus on like apartments and the late night stuff, you know, and all that. And then I'll have a different set of characters. But I don't know if it's going to be like a completely different set of characters. Or if it's going to be like half the ones that are in Sunset Valley mixed with half new people. And then like a different season would be half... It depends how many characters I have, right? By the end of this Papa stuff, I'll probably have 15. Which is quite a lot, actually. <laughs> but I mean, it doesn't have to just be ones from Papa's. I could make them new in The Sims. There's only a certain amount of silly voices I can do, obviously. That's the thing. I'm not good at accents or anything like that, so... Oh, God. So I don't exactly know how I'm doing it. Also, it was originally going to have to be like a complete restart because if you try and move Sims to another town in The Sims 3, the other town is so completely separate that you lose all the connection to the first town. But... Again, one of the mods that I've got makes it so you can actually hop between towns and keep all of your relationships and all your progress and stuff. So now that opens out a bit more where I could be like, wow. I could move them to Bridgeport. And it would be fine. What I wanted to do with Bridgeport with Late Night is... Um... Oh, this actually didn't really lead anywhere. It just opens out here. Is... Put them in an apartment, right? Because you got the apartment buildings. And that's the challenge, is I have to stay in the apartment. So I can't expand outwards or anything. You can't build outwards, obviously. You can only just move stuff inside it. And so the challenge would be to stay in that small space, even if I had a lot of sims. Uh, and not move them into a rich house on the outskirts or anything. I feel bad for Gertrude having to watch them all. <laughs> uh. All those rapscallions! After two years, I still have only two OCs. Oh! Well, sometimes less is more, you know. I do wonder if I end up making too many characters. Might just be stretching a little bit. I mean, the ones I've got planned for... Some of the ones I've got planned for other videos... A couple of them are kind of more like parody characters a little bit. Uh, rather than completely whole... Well, I guess none of them are wholly original, because Voxen is a bit of a Kingdom Hearts parody. Vibes is just a parody of uh, like slight valley girl kind of vibes. So Blau Blau is a sci-fi movie parody, you know. <laughs> Gertrude is just old person parody. Rakul is fantasy wizard parodies. I mean, they're all technically parodies, I guess, in a way, aren't they? But they're all tropes. I mean, those early ones as well, I kind of just made them on the spot, whereas now I think a lot more about them before I, like, before I add them. Should wiggle a finger at Voxen for being naughty, yeah. Like, the Supernatural pack for Sims 3 is interesting as well, because Supernatural is witches and werewolves and vampires and all that bullshit. So... Rakul, obviously, is a perfect fit for the Supernatural, because I think you can brew potions and stuff. So he, obviously, he's got to be in that one. And one of my other characters I have planned could be a witch, probably, for Supernatural. 
Uh, Lance Mooney would probably fit pretty well in Supernatural. But... Maybe Voxen can be there and he can turn into a werewolf. I've never played Supernatural because I've just bought it for the first time, so I don't completely know about it. And then you go like into the future where you go, well, into the future in that future town. So Blah Blah obviously would fit that very nicely. Like 35 of them, damn. Yeah, I can't like mimic an accent. I can mimic phrases and stuff, like intonations, but like, not, I can't do any accents. I'm not a voice actor. I just make my voice sound silly in some way. So. There's only so much I can do. I mean,. For example, even trying to do the difference between Gertrude and like Rakul was a bit tricky sometimes. So that's why I didn't have them talk too much to each other because Gertrude's just a, a sort of an old lady voice like this, which is already going a bit voxen, but he's much more evil. But Gertrude is just yes, yeah, so she's a bit more so sort of just a typical old kind of posh voice. Whereas Rakul is very kind of a uh, weary, strained. So. Hello, Eric. Also, I spelt Rakul's name wrong. I based it on a character I had in a game, but the H is meant to be after the K. <laughs> but I guess he's different from that character I had, so his H is before the K. Sorry, his H. Vibes asked me out earlier, I said no. You what now? How could you do this? How could you break the poor girl's heart? I got Lance Mooney's voice sorted. I don't know what I'm doing for that. ASMR. I like ASMR. I know some people don't because it was the ASMR. It's not the character that's the problem, it's the fact that I was whispering. But she doesn't whisper anymore, I, I said that. In uh, Scooperia, right? Now she just, she just speaks softly now, she just does a soft. And she's sometimes a pirate. Because it's ASMR! <laughs> she would fit really well in the Island Paradise. Uh, Sims for expansion, if I can get it to run well, because of the pirate stuff. Ding ba ding, what's this funky little tune? One of the new ones, or one of the mod ones. <laughs> well, we could put this somewhere, can we? There you go. Oh. Fine, I won't put you on the floor. There you go. Take that. Need some more torches. She lost her voice from cussing out pirates. <laughs> Do you keep me constantly where you are? I go a long way. Ah, uh, who knows? You can never predict these things, really, can you? YouTube, pretty turbulent. Strange place, but... I just try and... I have a video in mind. I just try and make it the way I want to do it. And... Uh, I don't like overcomplicating things, so I don't add loads of fancy effects and stuff I know. They are kind of rustic, I guess. I just don't think it needs it a lot of the time. I think if I'm happy with the commentary, it doesn't need bells and whistles. It just needs to be 
uh, tr you know, streamlined, trimmed down, and just focus on the game. Like, I don't like adding memes. I very rarely do. If it's related to something I said in the video, like add a sound effect or something. Uh, but I don't just like sticking something on top in the edit to try and like, oh guys, you you know that reference, don't you? Because that just feels like well, it's taken away from the game. That's why I don't like putting. I don't ever put something on top of the screen like a movie clip or whatever. Because like, nah, 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 nah. I'm not a fan of doing that. It just feels like um, cheap sort of editing, you know. I think I'd rather do it simple rather than sort of cheap and bodged. Cast away from somewhere. No on verse. Oh no. Multiverse things just have a bad <laughs> rep though. It's not a multiverse, it's just a verse, <laughs> you know. <coughs> it's just <coughs> oh. <coughs> See, it made me sick. <coughs> <laughs> Been talking for a long time. Gonna turn into a cool. <coughs> I guess it's technically a multiverse because they're in The Sims and they're in Pappas. Oh. Oh, uh, look at all these achievements. Oh, I should probably have a look at this, actually. Right, we did that. We did that, we got that. We did this. And copper chest upgrade. Right. Almost all of these are done. Hmm. The base ones. Never mind all of this. <laughs> actually, have I got one of these now? No, I guess it didn't count. Oh, no, it did. Wait. But I have it. But I have it. Do I have to actually play it? Oh, that's not happening right now. Spider-Man to the spiders doesn't exist, huh? Nah. <laughs> it can be good, but a lot of the time if you say that to someone, they can be like, oh, unless it's one of the good ones. What's Renpy? I don't know what Renpy is. Stin and Rempy. Would you ever stream on Twitch? No, because I used to and I got sick of it. And it was... Uh, I thought it was a waste of time. And not only because I don't really like Twitch as a platform, but I don't want to be a streamer. Uh, it's not something I want to do. I like recording the videos on my own because I can really focus on the commentary and not talking to a chat. I can just focus on the commentary... It's better for editing. It's more flexible with when I can record. And I'm also more likely to say silly things, things that might be good for the video, because it's not live. I know no one has to hear it if I don't want it. So when it comes to the edit, I can just get rid of anything that I thought, oh, that was a bit too much. When I'm live, because I know someone will hear it, I just restrain myself a lot more so it ends up being not as much potential. Uh, so the only live things I like doing is stuff like this, where I know I wouldn't, I wouldn't edit into videos, right? I'm not going to make Minecraft videos, so... I'm like, yeah, you know, that's fine. It's just an extra thing. Like, doing it once a week, potentially, on YouTube, here on YouTube, for the audience I already have. Oh, that's fine by me, honestly. Or once every fortnight or whatever. I just don't really see any reason to, yeah, to change what I'm doing right now. 
I don't really like the culture of Twitch very much. I don't like having to make emotes. I don't like uh, raids and all of that stuff and networking. I, I just can't be bothered with it. Look at this place. It's really rivery. It's all separated out. Oh, there's a fleet over there. I think that might be one of the village ones, or it's actually a bunch of villagers. That's a sky village. That's one of those big castles. We saw that at the start. What I need to focus on... Uh, what's this? Shift click on place backpack to remove all tier upgrades. Right, right, right. So you can upgrade the backpacks. Upgrade the chests as well. Yeah, yeah. Iron chests are restocked, see. Copper chest. I mean, it's as simple as that. Seems like. Copper around. It's not a complicated one. Do they have that storage mod? At storage. Oh, they do. I'm surprised, actually. This one, you can connect all of the containers together and then access it all from one grid. So basically, you don't have to be checking every individual chest and organizing it because it all just gets fed into this one panel. It's a bit OP. Uh, you do need some stuff to do it, but... It does make sense when you're playing a mod pack where you've got fucking billions of items and you've got to sift through all that. Ren piece for creating games on Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, okay. What do you think about Kick? I don't know, it seems like a pretty shit platform. <laughs> Isn't it like funded by gambling or something? Or is that a different one? I don't know. Either way, it just seems like a more degenerate Twitch, if that's possible. And Twitch has already leaned into degeneracy a lot, so... I do still watch Twitch a bit. There's one streamer that I watch consistently. He's probably streaming now, but I'm streaming, so I just have to catch up on it. But, but I don't have time to watch any more than one streamer, <laughs> is the thing. So... Yeah, it's... I don't know, it seems like a bit of a sinking ship, that platform. Not for the biggest streamers, I'm sure they'll be fine, but... For those mid-level people, when they're like 200 viewers or whatever, 100 viewers, I think if I was in that position and I didn't have like a good YouTube channel going, I'd be really worried if it was like my job. Like those streamers who have that many viewers and they make, you know, that's their living. It feels very kind of risky. Because, you know, Twitch are trying to save... Why did I make a chest? <laughs> Twitch are trying to save money right now. So they're going to be squeezing money that could be given to streamers. Because they're not making profit. Because I guess those server costs are very high. Uh, I guess that's kind of the problem with Twitch. Anyone can just stream. If you have an internet connection, if you have... Well, yeah. If you have an internet connection and you have OBS or whatever platform, software, Twitch's own one if you want, you can just stream. You don't even need a mic. Doesn't mean you're going to get any views, but... I want to explore a little bit and just see what else is around. But there's just there's hundreds of thousands of people taking up bandwidth, bandwidth on Twitch. So server costs for Twitch, right? And it's kind of like, are they going to have to at some point oh, make it where you cannot just stream limitlessly like maybe you can only stream a certain number of times per week if you're not affiliate you're gonna have to start restricting how much people can do it or you're gonna have to actually apply like you have to apply a bit more to get more uh features and stuff because it's just not sustainable everyone wants to try and do it because it's easy it seems easy 
It's not. How do I get out in this fucking version again? <laughs> what? I'm pressing everything. Shouldn't it be like that? How did I get out of it before? Or is it just sort of like lagging and not doing it? It might be. God damn it. Let me check. It's not going to come up, is it? Uh, leave. How do you like, is it like mount? I don't know. I'm sure I'm pressing what I pressed before and it's not doing it. <laughs> what? Let me out. <laughs> Let me. F that doesn't seem right either. Hmm. Only watch one Twitch streamer, two, but she posts her vods on YouTube, so what's the point? That's the other thing. If I streamed, like, what I make videos out of, it would be like splitting the content. Like, you could watch my stream, but then you wouldn't need to watch the videos because you've seen it on stream already. If you watch the videos, you wouldn't really need to watch the stream because you're seeing the cut down and better version of it, right? You're seeing the version without all the pauses and all the uh, dead air and everything. So it's like reusing content, just it, I just don't think it works. I don't think stream content should be videos, and I don't think video content should come from streams. I think they should be two separate things. It's fine if they exist separately, but I just don't think it works when they when you're trying to turn one thing into both. So that's why I do them separately. Like 16 people looking at your dumbassery right now? Yeah, but I wouldn't turn this dumbassery into a video. Imagine me trying to edit this like five hours of rambling about other stuff into a video. It just doesn't work, right? There's no narrative I could make out of this. So it's better just to exist as it is. Just a rambly, long form hangout kind of thing. Can I leave left control? There you go. God. All right, what do we get? Smithing template, better nether. Golden mace, oh, I don't care. Rebounding legs, gold. Yeah. Golden axe. Like the game, chilling too. Does it turn into ice? No. Yeah, is that another... Wait, what is that? Right, don't trap me boat this time, I swear to goodness. I will sink you intentionally. Remember when boats used to just break when they barely breathe... Like, <laughs> they barely, barely nudged the shore. Or breeze touched them. They would break into planks and stick. Oh, good old days. Uh... What is this? Okay. Yeah, we've got some kind of structures up here. Is this one of these graveyardy kind of places? Yeah, I mean... Basically, I have no viewers, but it's also irrelevant because I'm not trying to get viewers from streams. If I was doing this on Twitch, right, I would have probably about four viewers right now from the people from Twitch. 
And it would be terrible because you, when you do a Twitch stream, you're trying to grow it, right? But I don't try and grow from streams on YouTube because it's, well, that's a pointless endeavor anyway. Uh, streams on YouTube before your audience already exists, really. Because who's fucking looking at the stream section on YouTube? Maybe some people are. But not very, not many people are doing that. It's very hard to find YouTube streams. It's a very awkward system. Uh, discoverability is not good. Even Twitch's discoverability is better because it's built for it. So if someone was like, how do I grow a stream on YouTube? You'd be like, well, you don't. <laughs> you make videos. Hello, Brittany, with an E. Brittany the Butcher, probably shouldn't make fun of it. Night, night. I like the darkness, but it's also kind of weird because you can still see far. Which you shouldn't really be able to see as far. I mean, that's got the light, but like you still. I can see over there. But I can't see there. That's the kind of, it's the weird thing about it. It's just how the shaders are. Another mod pack I tried out had true darkness settings over in here. And the extras. And it was like uh, built in true dark night times. So made it darker and darker as you made it go up. But when you put the shaders on, it just completely overridden it. Because the shaders take precedent, uh, pre precedence, precedence. Shaders take priority over everything else, so you have to go into shaders itself and go into lighting color multipliers and then change it for each time here. Nighttime look. Uh, the intensity is down to zero point zero three. So it's like ah yeah, and then I've got when it's raining, it's down to you know zero point eight, you know. Yeah, it's a bit dimmer when it's rainy. The nether's a little bit darker. The end is quite darker, but not crazy. That was good enough for me. I don't even know where stream section is. Yeah, it's just not built for it. Hello, why are you out here in the night? It's a bit creepy, Coleman. At least these ones actually have jobs. Huh? It's a bit of a ghost town. I mean, it's not a ghost town because there's people, but there's like a couple of people in the camps, and then we got these ruins. It's a bit creepy. You guys are stupid. You're setting up in a ruined area. You're gonna get killed by some ghosts or something. You're gonna be in a horror movie. I hope you're not teenagers. Really fun stream, a bit too zooted to form any coherent sentences right now. <laughs> zooted. Oh, hi. I have to stop soon, actually. I can't. Definitely can't go beyond like midnight my time. Really. It's been a pretty long one. That's why I started earlier. I need to try using this scythe more, actually. It's dripping with blueness. I just didn't want to turn up to the stream and just sort of look at the Papa's wiki again or something, right? I'm fine doing other stuff on stream. Like, I don't have to do Minecraft. But I need to have the idea already in mind. Like, okay, we're going to do a tier list or something for Papa's. I don't, uh, honestly, I don't actually like doing tier lists, to be honest. But I could probably stomach it for one stream. <laughs> Such a hardship, I know. But... Oh, 
Well, I've just kind of ended up here now. It's a little bit odd. Um, how did I... I don't remember how I even ended up here. <laughs> Starting to lose it. Like, where's my boat? Oh yeah, it's over here. Wing array goes in S tier. That would be the lowest ranked one for me. <laughs> oh no, like original pizza array and burger array would be just because they're so basic. I just don't really... Maybe I need to play wing area to go. Uh, but... With some more stuff in it, but... I just think the build station on wing area is the most boring one. You just arranging things in symmetry. You're not stacking anything, you're not decorating anything, you're just putting stuff on a plate. <laughs> you know? <laughs> on a, honestly, Pastoria was a bit like that for me as well. I didn't care for Pastoria that much. I liked shaking the pasta. I'll never look at these ships. It's hard to say, though. I mean, it's not like I'm like, oh, yeah, I love this game and I really hate this Papa's game because they're all about the same. They're just different flavors of the same thing. I love symmetry, so Winger is perfect for me. I mean, I do as well, aesthetically, visually. I don't know. Couldn't see myself doing much of it, that's the thing. I mean, as far as like more Papa's Games videos go, what I've got in mind coming up is... Cluckeria, obviously. Uh, Burger HD, maybe like a part two where I get the rest of the ingredients. And I might leave that one there, because it's not very interesting. Pizza Rear HD, I'm quite interested to do. Oh, kelp! Freezer Rear Deluxe I was meant to do already, but I've decided I'm going to do... I'm going to actually leave that one a little bit longer. Before I go on to that one. I just don't want to be doing, like, uh, for a while I was kind of doing... Oh, nice fireworks. Oh, what the heck? Oh, we got different things. What? Look at this. I can't be taking all of these. I'm sure going to try, though. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't need these fireworks. <laughs> Oh, God. I must loot. I must take everything I see. A Rory. A Roar, probably. Hello, a Roar. It's fucking Roar. And a Buko, but you don't do anything. Oh, my God. Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you for the fireworks and the gunpowder. Now where did I put my boat? Cupcakery HD. It's Cupcakery is odd because it's kind of like those mobile and tablet ones were quite early as well, weren't they? So they don't have specials, they don't have uh, stickers, I don't really care about that, but... So they don't really seem to have anything that the Flash version doesn't, except for the Flash version has... maybe better decorating? 
I don't know, because on, fla on flash you can move the nozzle and s squeeze out the... Ah, uh, fucking hell, the icing. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. You can squeeze out the icing. Onto the thing, whereas surely in the other versions you can move the cupcake side to side, right? Didn't know specials but you played it? Yeah, but it had more than the original Burgeria. Still, it still had improvements. But does Cupcake Area HD have improvements over Cupcake Area Flash other than just widescreen? Is there anything, any features in it that Flash doesn't have? That's worth having. Yeah, I think there's villagers here. Yeah, but most of them seem kind of useless because they are just sailing. There's only so much you can do when you're sailing around, huh? It's like... Holidays? Yeah, Cupcake Area Original has holidays. It's the one that added them. Unless it has different holidays, I guess, but that's... Whatever, really, if they're different. I don't know, it's just like... My... Oh god, I can't take all this. I don't need these fireworks, though. I could always come back here, though. My thing with making more videos on each game is I just want to pick the version of it that has everything I want, which is custom characters. If it doesn't have custom characters, like Burgery HD, so be it. But that's the only one that doesn't. All the others have a version with custom characters. So I'll just pick the best version of it. But like... If the gameplay's more awkward, for example, on Cupcake Area to go or HD, HD, if the gameplay's more awkward than it would be, I don't know if I want to do it when I could just do Flash. That's the thing. I'm not sure yet. But especially if you get into like Sushi Area, for example. Sushi Area is one of the most new ones as far as the Flash ones go. I mean, it's still like. 10 years old or something, well maybe not that, old, not, not that old, but there's really no reason to play Sushi Rear to go over just Sushi Rear Flash other than widescreen. It's the same game otherwise, right? Pretty much. Sushi Rear Flash has specials, it has holidays, it has a custom character. You know, it has everything I want out of it, so there would be no point starting again on a new version. It's more so the games like Pizza Rear where they're just too basic to do too much on. Burger Rear just doesn't have a version with all the trimmings. It's just so old. But Taco Mia, HD, Pizza Rear, uh, Pancake Rear. I can do all those tablet version. Wing Rear to go because Wing Rear HD is not very good. It's older, so it would be to go for Wing Rear if I do that. I don't need to play to go or HD versions of ones that already have enough stuff. The awkward ones are also uh, Pastoria. Because Pastoria is missing... Is Pastoria missing specials? I can't even remember now. The original Pastoria. Because if it's missing specials and there's a version of it that does have specials, It'd be nice to play the one that does have specials, but at the same time, if the gameplay is more awkward and it has, because Pasta Rare to go, there's no Pasta Rare HD because they stopped doing HDs. I have to scroll the thing at the top instead of just picking the ingredients. I'd rather just pick the ingredients and lose out on the specials. Anyway, it's not like I'm going to play 100% of these games, you know? <laughs> it's not like I'm going to be like, right, I'm going to get super far in every Papa's game. I'm just going to play a little bit of each and sort of just jump back into them occasionally and just mix and match and yeah pancake area and hot dog area I'm gonna do the HD ones I 
It'd be lovely if they had a deluxe version on Steam, you know, but, uh, you know, that'd be something else. Let's get home and end it anyway. Because I've been doing Papa's videos for a while. I was doing it basically one Papa video to one non Papa video. Especially in times like December and January. But I'm trying to be less reliant on them now, obviously. So they've gone to like one in three. Although Burger Air was only two videos after. Uh, more career, but. If I do them all the time, I'll get very burnt out on it, so. I have to put other things in between it to not go crazy. I want to slowly. not phase them out completely, I want to keep playing them. And keep you know, using my characters and stuff, but the more, the further you go into the game, the less there is to talk about. I mean, there's new stuff that comes up with the holidays and whatnot, but you've kind of said a lot of what you could say already. And I don't want to milk them too much. I know Papa likes to milk the concept, but, oh, I went the wrong way. Also depends on which games... Because my favourite and least favourite, like... Favourite... Yeah, it's hard to say. I need to play Freezer Red Deluxe, because it could be that, but... I need to... Pizza HD I'm also interested in. Um... Hmm. I don't really have one at the moment. But the ones I like more... Are the ones I'd like to play more of, obviously. It's actually a bit awkward because Voxen is in Wingerir, but I don't really care much about Wingerir. So. The thing is with Voxen, he's probably going to be the uh, delivery phone person for Freezer Air Deluxe. So he will be there. I can do his stuff there anyway. But when it comes to Wingerir to go. He might just be there for one video or something. I might not play that one very much. Thoughts on Paletteria, is that for the chat generally? Because I certainly haven't played it yet. If I can get Cluckeria done, then Paletteria will be on the cards for a video. I, I just want to... I want to do Cluckeria first. It's a bit weird the way I've done it, sort of just going through all of them and then going back. I didn't go like, right, I'm going to play... I'm going to stick to this game, and then we'll move on to another game. I've just kind of jumped between them, but that's also so people don't just get bored of the same game again and again. I'm already thinking about Cooking Simulator. I'm like, where am I going to end that? Like, am I going to get to five stars on Cooking Simulator? Mm, I don't know. That might take too long, and it might get a bit boring at that point. So maybe I should do some progress non-recorded and then come back when I've done more progress in it. There's plenty of messing around you can do on Cooking Simulator, but it's going to end up being sort of samey, uh, I feel like. I might just spread them out a little bit more from now on, you know. Got number three coming next week. And after that, I might space them out more. I really do like doing the series, though. Screenshot on Discord. Like, compared to what I was doing for gameplay stuff before, and sort of even at the start of this channel, 
There was a lot more one-offs. You look at like One-Armed Cook video, the re-uploaded World of Goo video, uh, Christmas Flash Games video. That was a fucking nightmare, that one. The Trapped video. Those are all like one-offs. And I might still do a one-off if, you know, because not all games can be turned into series. Some of them are only good for one video and that's it. But, but I really like doing the series more because you're just getting invested into it. People can get invested and they can watch if it's their thing. And if it's not, there's other series they can watch instead. And it doesn't just feel like you're just playing a game for content, then throwing it away and then moving on to the next one. You're actually getting a bit more deeply involved in the game. And also, you don't have to burn through so many games. You can just pick a fewer amount, but do them properly. And your channel isn't so crazy variety. It's... You're not just f doing variety fling about all over the place. No, you've got a few core things you're sticking to. Want to do a series on Pappas? Yeah, those little cooking games, right? Yeah, maybe we should check that out. Oh my god. This is the uh, uh, Ren P thing. Is that a Sonic the Hedgehog I see? <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog on a shelf. And a toad or something next to it. Novion verse, oh my god. My Kingdom Hearts audience would see this and be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> They're probably wondering where I am. I don't i I'm sure the more like the people who haven't been keeping up with things on that channel. They're probably thinking, damn, Novion hasn't uploaded in like two months. I don't know, I changed that channel's name to Novion KH, so it must be pretty obvious it's not my main channel anymore. <laughs> Even though it's got more subscribers and it still has the search results uh, priority. And it still has the Google search results priority. And it's still what most of my internet presence has been for. Yeah, I don't have any... I got nothing I want to put on that channel, really. It's fine as it is. Like, to quickly address that, you know, Kingdom Hearts 4 will be a thing in the next few years at some point. And maybe that will inspire me to do more stuff if it's good. But, like, I just don't care. Otherwise, I've done everything I wanted to do on that channel and more, a lot more. Uh, and I, what I ended up wanting to do on YouTube is very different from that. So I had to start a new channel, which is this one. But sometimes you just gotta end something, right? <laughs> Rather than dragging it on and on just for no reason. Like, I might still do the occasional music compilation video on there, like I've been doing. Where I show how a song changed throughout the series, different versions of it. That's a pretty cool thing, but... I, I don't care to do any more analysis or discussions. I've done it to death. I've talked about... and. The only Kingdom Hearts game I really, really like is the first one, Kingdom Hearts. That's the one that I actually am passionate about. The others, they're good enough games, but I don't care that much about them, you know. So it's just like, it's, it's kind of just over. <laughs> I'm not going to say that on that channel. I'm not going to go like, right, this channel's retired, I'm done. No more videos, it's just an archive. Because I might want to come back for something, but... I'm not going to come back, like, full-time, quote-unquote. Like, making videos consistently like I do here. Because uh, I just don't care any anymore. Do you like Final Fantasy? No, that's the thing. That's why it was also hard to expand on that channel, because the most logical thing to expand to on that channel was Final Fantasy, or, like, JRPGs, and I actually don't like that genre very much. 
You have a whole channel of KHP, you don't even like it that much? Yeah. I mean, uh, I do. It's, it's an awkward thing, because it's like... I do like that franchise. Uh, I just don't like it as much anymore. I liked it when it was at its peak in like the 2000s. And I remember being... I, was, I wasn't in the community, but I remember seeing the community stuff, and there was some wild stuff. But like... You know... I re I love the first Kingdom Hearts game. It's one of my top five games. And I do quite like the second game. And the third game that came out five years ago, I like it decently enough. I have a lot of issues with it. But the third, you know, not the third. You know, Kingdom Hearts 3, it's not the third game. It's the 11th. Some bullshit. But, but then the other ones are like, eh. I'm not huge on them. I only played them more recently. It just ended up that way. I never intended that channel to turn into that, but it was successful, and I was addicted to just doing what was quick success at the time, so I just leaned into it, and then when I tried to expand it, I couldn't do it, so I had to make a new one. It happens a lot. I think it happens. There's probably a lot of YouTubers. I mean, certainly the streamer I watch, he's, he's known for Dark Souls, the Souls games. I don't think he particularly loves those games. He just started doing it because he saw a gap in the market for what he was doing on Twitch. And it got really successful. But it seems like he's been very scared to venture and branch out into other stuff because of like dips in viewers on Twitch and whatnot. And he does do other stuff sometimes, but he always falls back to souls, even though he looks like he does not give a shit about it anymore. Just because it's what most people there want to watch, right? And I was like, I don't want to turn into that. I already have a little bit. So I had to make a new channel where at least I could do any gameplay thing I wanted. Not anything. I don't want to do any anything. I only want to do certain things. But I was like, what's the point of me dragging on the life of that channel like a corpse? It's just undead, right? like forcing out a Kingdom Hearts video about some bullshit. Like, oh, now we're going to look at this little aspect of the series. I don't care. I've already talked about the things I wanted to talk about. I was passionate about it back in 2020 and 21, <laughs> you know, when it was at its peak. Not a series, I mean the channel. I was passionate about it then, but then I did everything I wanted to do. And then I was left with a channel that had an audience that didn't fit my interests anymore. And also, you know, I'm I'm not too happy with the direction of the series and where they've been taking it and whatnot. So, obviously, that causes problems. We are done with the game with Minecraft for today, I think. Yeah, this Minecraft stuff's all right. Uh, I'm still not completely sure if I will consistently stream this, though. I'm not sure. I do find it hard to concentrate when I'm trying to also talk on stream, right? But... Oh, the fireworks. God damn it. Oh, wait, I already have a chest here. Let's get one. Yeah, sometimes I might want to do other stuff anyway. So when it comes to this, I could just leave this save file and dip into it sometimes. I could play it on my own and then sometimes on stream be like, hey, look, I've done some stuff. I don't know. It depends how much time I have. But Yeah, where's my wiki with all the character entries? <laughs> Novi on wiki. Oh, that's... Oh, God, no. Let's keep it more mysterious, maybe. Will this live be saved on a channel to watch later? Yeah, it should just turn into a video and be on the live section. It won't be on the video section, but it'll be on the live section, like my previous stream. I mean, I'm not going to be a React Andy, you know, React streamer where we watch, like, YouTube videos or something and react to it. I'm not doing that. Uh, I didn't mind looking on those, like, hated characters website and stuff. That was kind of fun. Pfft. 
But yeah, you know, it's just a, it's a casual thing. It's a chill thing. It's uh, an extra thing. It's not the main. The main course is the videos. Food and allergies, you got to love them. This is the dessert. This is the indulgence, you know. <laughs> um, is there anything else? Fuck. Uh, I don't know if I'll be streaming again next week, so it might not until like two weeks or something. Yeah, just probably that next week will probably be two videos and then week after clock area. Hopefully that all goes smoothly enough since I have to do a bit of weird stuff with that, but and then I want to start something else as well. I know it's probably not a good idea to start too much, but if I just go Papa's Sims Cooking simulator, Papa Sims cooking simulator, Papa Sims. If I just do that trio again and again, it's just going to get really stale for me and for people watching, I think. So, like I said, I'll probably do cooking sim number three uh, on Thursday next week. And then I might just leave it a little bit longer before I come back and do a, num a part four for cooking sim. Like maybe halfway through uh, April or something. Is Voxen confirmed 100% real? <laughs> Smiling evilly and rubbing my hands. Well, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at some stuff that might make for good videos. I was looking at maybe doing like a one-off flash video, because I, I, I did intend to do more flash games, but a lot of them are just not good for content. A lot of, I have tried some before, and they've just, you know, I tried Papillary 2. Uh, Papillary 2. And I was trying to record a video for that, and I just was not feeling it at all. I might try again at some point, but... I just thought, this doesn't seem like it's going to be a good video. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a platformer, isn't it? Right? It's a platformer that I don't have much personal investment in, or knowledge of. I could play through it all on my own first, but the first the first game, Papa Louis, when pizzas attack, I already knew that. I've already played it before. I could get through it pretty easily, and it was also just kind of like, hey, you know, it's the first game in the entire series. It's fun to have a look at it. What about those really girly flash games? No. <laughs> No. Although whenever I've played the cooking games, it's been like the archived ones on Flashpoint. Like the cooking Flash games like the Pappas and... Remember on Pappas, Pancake Aria when I played cooking with... Uh, what's her name? How did I forget it? Oh, Sarah. Played cooking with Sarah. Sarah. Whenever I play that, it comes up with a fucking like gamesforgirls.com. I'm like, right, okay. Cooking's for women. <laughs> Get in the kitchen. But I wouldn't do it just for like, hey guys, this is a, f th this is funny. I'm playing dress up game, but I'm actually an adult man. Like that's not, I don't think that's very funny. <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> Girly sites always have the weirdest games, like ingrown toenail removal surgery, pregnant Elsa, yeah, and mobile games as well, I like that, but it's fucking weird. Did you ever try Roblox? No, I don't think I'd want to play Roblox. That's for kids, you know. I don't, you know, I don't really want to get involved in that. Um, maybe not for kids, but it's just not. I'm too old for that. <laughs> Be 
Yeah, it just I, I've looked at some of the Flash games. Like, I've just been like, this is the problem with them, is they don't even make they don't work for a one-off video. And I've kind of moved away from doing one-off game videos. I've moved more towards series and stuff that has a bit more meat to it. So I'm like, uh. There's some nostalgic stuff. I looked at, um, I doubt anyone here will remember it because there's not enough people here of a sample size, but there was a game called Mofro, which is a really weird platforming game. It had a very eerie kind of vibe. Uh, although only as an adult am I realizing the name means motherfucker, apparently. But but the guy, I mean, the, the protagonist is called Mofro. And he was a guy with an afro. I mean, a stick man with an afro, basically. And you go through this castle and, sh like, have to pick up where, like items, but you can only pick up one at a time, and it was like a sort of Metroidvania design. I found it on Flashpoint Archive. It always creeped me out a bit, that game, just the, the design of it. It's very strange. And the enemies that you end up encountering. I never finished it as a kid because it was too difficult. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like Motherload. Don't know if anyone ever remembered Motherload. That was a pretty popular one. Where you had to dig down and collect the ores and then upgrade and then keep digging down. There's just not a lot to talk about. There's not a lot to comment on for a game like that right that's the problem with that kind of thing and a lot of flash games are like that there's uh, not a whole lot to them they're very simple so yeah i could do the christmas flash game compilation thing uh, trapped trilogy worked because they were so ridiculous i had a lot to make fun of with trapped it was less so that they were flash games with trapped it was more so that they were just very silly indie games. Papa's Pretzelaria. <laughs> if they can figure out how to make that fun. I figure out 12 different holiday ingredients. 12 different holidays worth of ingredients. Henry Stickman. I did play that uh like last month i recorded it i tried recording and playing it and it was it was really bad for videos uh, I, I ditched it because it was i was just watching stuff and the game's also very irreverent comedy kind of thing and i was like well what am i supposed to say the game's making all the jokes for me right i'm just i'm just here watching it passively clicking on an option watching henry stickman do something I was like, right, okay, so I just realized I got to the fourth game and I was like, nah, this isn't going to be a good video. <laughs> sort of thing you'd maybe stream, you know, just like, hey, remember this, guys? But I just realized, why has my character got, f what? what's going on with the shoulders? That's not right. Hey, didn't look like that before. Hey. Oh no, it's it's fine here. Hmm. Papa's fan games, Papa's cereal area. Yeah, I saw that cannibal area thing. <laughs> hmm. Uh, probably won't be touching stuff like that though, unless it got really desperate. <laughs> There's 17 Papa's games with different versions of them for content, so I'm not really... Uh, there's not a lack of options. It's just about when something starts wearing thin, you know. Sims 3 has got tons of potential. That's a long, long-running series. Uh, so that can just keep going. That's fine. I mean, I might take breaks between the seasons, but... 
I've always wanted to do Skyrim, and I tried doing Skyrim on my previous, on my other channel, Kingdom Hearts channel, and my previous attempt at this channel, which I deleted. But I just, I can't do it right now. Uh, it's too different. Like, I know Skyrim has sandboxy elements, and I really like talking to the NPCs and making fun of them and messing around with them. But it's a fantasy RPG. It's just, it's too different. It's modded. Obviously, it would be modded Skyrim, but... And it's too... It's too much investment. Because it would be a lot of episodes. There's a lot to get through with that. So I can't invest in something like that that's going to be really unpopular. I might actually try and play that myself, but... Oh, God, setting up the mods again. Oh, fucking Bethesda. Why do you keep updating the game? Breaking the mods? Uh, any simulator game that's interesting enough. It's a pretty fair game. Ponytown. Doesn't really sound like my kind of thing, gonna be honest. Dim -ba -dim -bim 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 -bim. I think something like Planet Coaster would be cool, but not right now. Not anytime soon. Yeah, well, Skyrim Special Edition, they did the Anniversary Edition update, didn't they? And they still patch it. Sometimes, so... God knows what they're doing, because they're not actually fixing any of the bugs that are still there. They're just doing some back-end patch, I guess. But it changes the version number of the game, and then all the mods break. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Pretty unfortunate. I can't be doing too many mods for Skyrim though. It's not like this where you can just install a mod pack and plug and play and off you go. Nah, you gotta... There are... That technically does exist. But, um... No, you gotta like... If you want to do it properly and you don't want to have issues, you gotta individually do every single mod and check compatibility and it takes ages. So I wouldn't want to go crazy with Skyrim and introduce loads of mods. I'll just I'd really try and keep it to a, the core premise, which would be stories and like characters. And um, there's a lot of Skyrim follower mods with custom voices and stuff. And I'd love to I'd love to do that because have loads of those followers, not all at once, because it'd be stupid, but. There's a lot to bounce off, right? And I can say my character's lines because obviously the character's not voiced in Skyrim, which is perfect. I could, I could even pretend it's Voxen and make Voxen in Skyrim, right? You made yourself as a Papa's character? Yeah, because I'm going to use it for Freezer Raid Deluxe. This, is the, this was the thumbnail of the first stream that I did three weeks ago, so... But I'm going to... Be myself in Freezer Red Deluxe and be a little egocentric, <laughs> a little narcissistic. I think Voxen will be joining me though. Telltale Games? No, I haven't. Yeah, I chose those eyes because they kind of looked a bit weary, a little bit tired. And I thought that was quite fitting. There's my guy. There's my gang, though, except for Peggy. She should. I mean, I've remade Peggy now. Long, long Peggy. Yes, a different character, kind of. So she could be added as well. But... Oh, and Rakul isn't there either, because he came afterwards. Twenty gigabytes of mods for Sims Four is not easy to control. Yeah. Do you have a Nintendo Switch? No. Nintendo is something I've always kind of avoided. <laughs> well, no, I liked the Wii, of course. Everyone liked the Wii. Everyone on Earth liked the Nintendo Wii. But, um... Oh, I just... Nintendo as a company really puts me off. Not that the other companies are all innocent, but... 
I probably would. Uh, maybe I'd enjoy some Nintendo games. Maybe Zelda. Maybe there's new Zeldas. Did ASMR's hair today? <laughs> ASMR. You have dark circles. I have quite tired looking eyes, I think. Last One of the last times I streamed last year on Twitch, uh, I was streaming Skyrim and someone came in and I was using camera and they were like, if you don't mind me saying, you look very, you look really tired. I hope you're getting enough sleep. Maybe, you know, look at, look after yourself and stuff. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I, I just, I look like that. Okay. I mean, maybe they were younger. When you get to a certain age, you just look more and more tired. <laughs> Games you play on a Wii, what do you think? Sports and Sports Resort, Wii Party, Wii Fit, <laughs> and Need for Speed Underground Remake. Not uh, not Underground, uh, Hot Pursuit. I didn't like it very much, though. It was just the casual, like, family game stuff. I never actually played it as a gamer, right? Breath of the Wild is so boring. I hear that this uh, newer one, um, Tears of the Kingdom, is like just that but better, right? Like what that game could have been. <laughs> I always like the look of stuff like Majora's Mask and uh, those old ones. Although I don't know how accessible Nintendo makes those. Probably not very much. But... Other Nintendo stuff, uh, doesn't interest me. Mario never interested me because I was a Sonic kid. Deep set eyes, I guess, kind of like that, yeah. But just a bit baggy. And like, yeah, I'm sure some of it is actual tiredness, but I do think I just generally look a bit like that. Maybe it's a bit deep set. Uh, I do have an updated version of this, but I don't know if... I think Lance Mooney might be on it, so... I don't want to spoil Lance Mooney's appearance. Uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah. No, I didn't even export it as a file anyway, so. Oh, no, he's not on it, actually. Okay. A uh, little hint for returning, though. Um, there you go. We got slightly expanded lineup. We got Rakul is here, and Peggy is also here. New Peggy. She's not even going to be called Peggy anymore. I'm going to give her a different name. She is goth. She's gone completely goth. That's going to be her thing. So we'll have that come back at some point. I guess for Hot Dog or Rear HD. Jim Allen, I changed a bit. I, I saw this hat on Papillary Powers. I was like, oh, no, that's that's his kind of hat for sure. That's definitely his thing. Uh, we'll expand it. We have Lance Mooney. We'll have... <clears throat> and then we have someone else and someone else as well. And then I just got to decide which ones are going to be joining Voxen and Vibes and Zablau Blau and how many they're going to be. They might get a pet, but I'm also planning to do the... Um, the Sims 3 Pets World, which is, uh, 
I can't remember the name of the town, but there's a town where it's kind of dedicated to pets and all the people there have pets. So that would be the one where I actually like go f fully into the pets expansion. That's the idea. Maybe dabble a bit in expansions. Uh, but when I go hard into one, it'll be in the town that's meant to be in, basically. Oh, God. What happened to her? <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is pretty good. I'm going to buy Odyssey soon. Yeah, it's just, I don't think there's much there that I can't get anywhere else for me. Zelda is the only one I was ever sort of interested in, potentially. Well, Metroid as well, but, you know. Anyway, that's it. i got to go. Uh, so, we'll see what happens whenever this continues. Whether it'll be, you know... Might not be Minecraft, yeah, might be something else. Might be more sticking to the chatting thing and not bothering with Minecraft. Or we might just kind of like dip into Minecraft a little bit. Don't know yet, but either way, I can't give a complete like for sure time. I'll be back next week, you know, Saturday, this Saturday, next week, because maybe I won't be. Maybe it'll be two weeks, but. In any case, I will be back at some point, so cheers, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.